Welcome in, everybody. Uh, sorry, a little bit late uh, because uh, uh, Silver Wolf, uh, they lost power. So um, hopefully if they get power here soon, they can rejoin us. But I guess we're just going to push on without them. So we were hoping they were coming back, but it was not, not the case. So welcome in, everybody. It's Goblins and Warlots. My name is Jugan. It's a uh, primary D&D &D stream. We're currently the whole month of October is the charity event. So you can donate all through the whole month and I'll go towards our charity stream that uh, I'll have um, this old day talk more about when it gets around to her. But for us, uh, this is episode 23. If you're watching me on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part is. If you'd like to catch us live, the links down to our live stream is also down there. Um, we have monthly competitions that we Wessel does. I'll let Wessel talk about them when it gets to them. And uh, join our Discord. It's a great community. We, uh, I, I guess I should still be saying that we just did a recent purge of all the inactives. So if you're one of the ones that got kicked from the server, apologize but it was not active you can always rejoin you're not banned so it's nothing personal you always just come back when you want to be active uh think yeah and that's i think next time after today we'll be live or probably be live after tonight because i failed my latest honor run at the uh, merkel fight so i'm starting all over from scratch again yay yay me yeah um so i'll probably do that after stream tonight after this stream um then our next D, D stream would be the charity event on Wednesday at 6 p.m. And now next stream, I'm doing to give some giveaways for that one is the either Shadow Heart or Carlac miniatures I 3D printed. So whoever wins that gets your choice. And then the next Wednesday that we do will be the other one. So uh, that being said, let me turn around to the rest of my players. So we have Garner. Hello. <laughs> Really tired. <laughs> Busy weekend. <laughs> Excellent. Isoldi. Hey everyone. <laughs> yeah, as um, as as Jugan was mentioned, we are running the uh, the charity event. This is for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Um, definitely a, a really worthy cause. So if you have any ability to, we would love for you to donate to this charity. None of it goes to us. All goes straight to charity. Um. <clears throat> As Jurgen also mentioned, we have. Um, oh, sorry. I'm I'm co DMing with with Jugen. I'm basically going to be acting as the narrator from Baldur's Gate Three. That is my job there. Um, also playing any bad guys because that's fun too. Um, as Jugen mentioned, we have some some fun giveaways. There is the Carlac and Shadowheart minis. Uh, there's also going to be if you give away fifty dollar, if you donate fifty dollars or more. Uh, you'll get, um, I think it's what, uh, stickers and some of the bracelets. You can, oh yeah, you have to show off that bracelet. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you, Vanna. Um, <clears throat> uh, and uh, just be warned that I will also be entering in for the competition to win Carlac because I can't tell if I want to ha if I want to like date her or be her or both. But uh, having a mini of her is at least yeah. That yeah. sounds incredibly well, unhealthy. <laughs> and, yeah, it's fine. Nah. I have some bad relationship patterns. Um, so yeah, just having a model of her would be great. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> other than that, uh, I'm also going to start streaming. Uh, some people here, mainly Jugan, has helped me uh, some get some overlays and everything set up. I'm hoping to be on Tuesday. That's it. That's all me. Bye-bye. Right. JR! From uh, wherever. Okay. Also stream on Tuesday, and your charity event is on Tuesday, right? No, Wednesday. No, so Wednesday. Wednesday this week. You guys, you guys switch it back to Wednesday. It's Tuesday, Wednesday. It's Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> yes, we've we've had this discussion, uh, Jr. Okay. I said you. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, you, I stream on Tuesdays. I streamed last Tuesday. Uh, I'm traveling, so things are a little crazy right now. We're going to be out for the last couple of uh, weeks of October, but. Um, but yeah, we are streaming on Tuesdays. Tuesday, 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 and Tuesday, Tuesday. That's my words that I can speak today. Um, so come and check me out. I am Jared the Nerd, and uh, and that was a great plug. So thank you. So you're saying Tuesday? <laughs> that Tuesday, was Tuesday, was it? Tuesday. 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 Tues
All right. Do I what? Have taco themed anything. I don't have taco themed anything. You need to give me some inspiration for what I should make taco themed. And then I should do that. You should get a taco shirt. I, we should I move on to Roar taco. Tender. What do you got going on when you start? Uh, right nothing. I am a figment of all of your imaginations and not a tangible human being. So, oh, I don't so exist you're not really outside here. of the. I don't exist outside of this con context. You're nothing but a person inside of a box. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Wow. And then the true Wessel. Hey, I'm Weasel. Or the one true Swessel, or that person who accidentally sends us on tangents at least once a week or session. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, I, I run some monthly competitions. I haven't, I've decided, like, I know who the winner is for last month. I just haven't posted it yet because I don't know why. No reason. But I'll get to that very soon, I'm sure. But come Ooh, join because we have another competition for this month. Yay! There are prizes. And, and of course, Silver Wolf, uh, she streams on Fridays. I think she's taking a streaming break right now. But uh, go check her out as well. All Everybody that streams is tagged in. I think I tagged everybody, actually. Or maybe not everybody, but most of everybody in the title. So uh, it only have 140 characters. So anyway, with that being said, let's uh, jump in. Let's jump into tonight's uh, intro, and then Providence will have recap for tonight. Oh. In a world of magic and mystery, where dragons soar and elves roam free, there lies a secret society known as the Order. Shadows we emerge, church, protecting the realm with a search. Our mission, our duty, our pledge to keep the balance to save the earth. We are the guardians of the land, unseen, unheard. We make our stand in the taverns, in the alleys, in the night. We fight for justice, we fight for what's right. Raise your swords and raise the shield for the order of the God that we will, will, will. Magic and light, our enemies we will, in the darkness our secrets are sealed. So beware of who dare to who oppose, the order of the let our power grows. For in the shadows we wait and we scheme, protectors of the realm, the order of Very pissed off right now. Ah. Well, welcome back, everybody. We have Silver <laughs> back. Uh, Providence, would you like to lead tonight's recap? Yeah, absolutely. So, so I love how Silver waving, but I still have her art up on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid Go ahead, of the Providence. extra camera. Yeah, I have my intro now. Yeah, sure. <sighs> my lady Silverina. It's been a few days since I last came to you and prepared. In, in prayer. I feel adrift, uncertain. Yesterday especially has tested me. We are researching for someone named Zafoon, but there's so much more happening as right now, and Fane's absence still weighs heavily on my heart. I still don't understand why she had to be taken from us. And more, why am I forced to deal with this, I don't know, creature wearing her body? I know that she's somehow tied to the dagger, to the dagger and to the tome, and we need her help. But how can I even trust her? And why does everyone seem like to be just bewitched by her? Like, how am I expected to accept this? Wait, fine, whatever, I'll try. But okay, there's more you need to know. First of all, apparently Arwaness is an elven princess. You know the one that went missing a few years ago? 
Um, and whoever took her is somehow connected to the same people who took me and Fane and Glitch and Kalis and, and Manny, um, but not Nico and um, and and, and Isan. But uh, oh, and get this: Glitch is also some kind of noble too. He's like a uh, half elf noble though. But does that make him like a half noble? Yeah. Uh, and his brother, well, he's either a lich or becoming a lich, so he's like a half elf, half noble, half lich. No, that's too many. No, that's too many halves. Anyway, um, oh, and Isam, he's still being secretive, but he said, but Craven said that we share blood, so we're like siblings or something. And then even this archangel Ira said that the, that we're also siblings. But here's the thing: I'm starting to believe them. Because everyone is saying that my magic isn't cleric magic. Like, everyone's saying it. But there's something, but it's something more like Isam. So, I don't, I don't really know. So, like, did you not give me my power? Aren't I supposed to be, like, your champion? What does that mean? Oh, and Isam says these things in, like, a weird language or weird languages. And for some reason, I can understand him, even though I shouldn't. Like yesterday, he mentioned something about somebody named Damo Adaminos. I think it's a demon, but I am like super sure that he was talking in a completely different language. And the same thing happened when I first met Kalis. Uh, does that mean that I'm related to Kalis too? Oh, speaking of which, Kalis went missing last night. We found him later in the morning, completely shirtless in a fountain. Uh, he must have jumped from the second floor. Uh, and if it wasn't innocent little Kalis, I am sure he would have. I would have said like. That that guy was out drinking around the town, but with Kalis, so something something is off. Something is wrong with Kalis. We gotta figure that out. Um, oh, and Isam and I meditated together. Uh, he's teaching me to how to keep uh, that energy inside of me. You know, like he's teaching me how to control it. Cause you know how like sometimes it just feels like it's just gonna burst. Like my inner energy is gonna explode. Um, so he's teaching me to take care of that. But while we were meditating, we had this like super crazy vision. So we were both there. And across from us were Ira and Craven, uh, and there was this cloud between us, and there was like this energy kind of going to us. Um, and then there was more people. There was um, there was an angel behind me and Isam, and I think it was Anyala. And there was another one behind Ira and Craven. Um, and then there was like this creepy black winged angel, and then there was a demon, and then and then I think there was a Staria, you know, the the, the goddess of of Kalis, like. I was Astaria in my vision. And where were you? Like, why weren't you there? It felt it felt so important to, you know, I, like I could feel the connection between like the good and the bad, between everyone. And it was like everyone had a part to play except you. Like the one the, the one goddess that I've devoted my entire life and faith to. Why weren't you there? I was some other random goddess there, not you. Whatever. Um, in your name, I remain your shield, your sword, and your servant. If that wasn't a recap, she might be responding to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, we now pick up in the middle of the town. Um, I forgot who picked up Kalis. Was it Providence? I did, she's yes. the only I'm one who's like strong enough to be doing that. Yeah, right. uh, you Kalis are cradled in my arms small. like a little baby. I'm a hefty boy. Uh, Kalis, you're, you're you, you wake arms. up. You wake up like drenched, like you're shirtless. Uh, I think somebody covered your eyes up with your somebody else's scarf, but you wouldn't really know that. Um, but you're like wake you are being carried you imagine in providence's arms as you wake up it, it was a it was a strip of his shirt that was all tattered oh, okay. anyways okay i had no idea he was so well endowed <laughs> i mean have you seen the rest of him though what <sighs> good morning Kalis. yeah uh. someone had a good night the people are just whispering to each other on the streets. Wait, was why are you carrying me? Can can you walk? Uh, yeah, yes. Okay, so she'll she'll gently put him. Ah, no, she's gonna drop him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll. 
get to my knees, and I guess I'm feeling... You take zero emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm feeling like, are we on a cobblestone street, or... Yeah, yeah you're on a cobble cobblestone street, yeah. Are we outside? Yeah. We found you in that fountain right there. One, you can't see it, but it's a couple feet behind us. I'm wet. And we and half naked. We move out too. Where are my clothes? Arwinus, there are times in life where you have to make fun of people for the things they chose to do in the night. This is one of those times. This is yes, for sure. Are, but we actually why have are a we crowd here? Watching. We um, found you out here. Yeah, like were you running away from Verona? Did she actually go through with what she said? I went to bed. Okay. I was overwhelmed. With the princess, and I, <laughs> I, 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 I went to bed. Okay. I mean, that doesn't mean Verona didn't. No, I'm telling you, that's Verona. all. That's all I did. That's all I know. We we found you. We found your room. the The window was broken, and it looks like it looked like you you jumped out. Uh, there was glass shards on the ground. Um, and we followed you here. Were... Didn't we find claw marks or something on the wall? Yes. There were claw marks, yeah. I'm, like, feeling over my body to see if there are, like, cuts or... Spin around. I do. Also, I... Are we outside? We're outside. Yeah, here. we're outside. Can we so... not be... <laughs> I'll give him like the shawl that I have, but okay. Let's just—I know it's a little bit small on you, but just... right, wrap it around me as good as possible. Yeah, that's that's the best I have. Let's um, let's get going. Just why was he awake? Why was he sleeping in the fountain? Why is he like half naked? You hear like people and Jugan, I have like nothing. Uh, you, you you have you, go ahead. Your your pants are kind of like shredded. No, 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 I meant like in the in the old noggin there. Oh, you mean memories? Yeah. Give me. I don't really say history check. It's not really history check. Just give me just a general insight. Yeah, insight check. There you go. As he's doing this, Eight. Providence is yelling out, "You had a rough night. Went a little bit too hard on the alcohol. Nothing to see here." No, yeah, you're not sure. Got nothing. I, I am concerned. Mm. So, like, I'm trying to like hide my face. I will say, with your eight, you probably had dreams of you like running in the woods or something like that like on fours i was like really? i remember having two two cups of mead but yeah but yeah so i'm, I'm just wa i'm walking somebody is you have no shoes you me a lot. yeah you have no shoes if you, you have It's basically you left your armor and everything obviously before you got into bed, but basically what you got torn was like you pretty much like have what I now. sleep in. Yeah, like your <laughs> sleeping garments are just now shredded or completely gone. So we'll go out Let's... of combat initiative. Glitch, what are you doing in this moment? You're muted. Wait, I muted myself for the thingy. He's just standing back, watching. Not much, just with the rest of the crowd, kind of. Like, All right, naked guy. <laughs> All right, Kalis and Assam, you both rolled 13, so what are you guys doing? Um, I'm walking just directly behind Providence, uh, head kind of down. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> head kind of down, and he's just thinking. Like he, he's working over everything that happened before he went to sleep. 
and just trying to figure out why he is out here. We lost silver. Mm -hmm. Some, I think, has maybe like an extra set of clothes, but they probably don't fit because Kalis is super small and Isam has a strength of eight. Um, but like, he'll try to offer him something beyond the shawl. Yeah, I'll 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 take uh, like I've got the shawl covering like my shoulders, and I'll wrap whatever you hand me just like around my waist. Maybe like a rope. Maybe like a uh, extra robes. Okay. You could wear it like a robe yeah. if you wanted. Just, I guess. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put that on. Like, thank you, Nico. What are you doing in this moment? Uh, I'm I'm gonna be walking pretty close to Kalis, trying to be a little bit, kind of help him. I, like he's he's clearly trying to like shrink into himself and disappear. So I'm gonna try to help kind of block him from sight from at least one side as we walk back. Oh, Verana's actually gonna take a piece of rope and really put it right on around his abs to make sure that's really covered up, covered up as well. And she's gonna get a little bit to play it off as gracefully, like across the abs, but she's gonna like yeah, yeah cover these up too. Thank you. No, thank just, you. Just oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Providence, what are you doing? Thinking about any way that I can make make fun of uh, Kalis later. Just trying to plot things in her mind. Just wants to pick on him. Just a little bit. <clears throat> kind of skipped Arinus. Arinus, what are you doing? Her best. <laughs> My absolute best trying not to panic right now. <sighs> Sorry. Your hair is too good for you to be angry. It is, it, it's looking hella good today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me a little minute so I can get resituated and then I'll be, I'll be fine. Sorry. Our witness is also helping cover Kalis from the rest of the people staring. Okay. Right, okay, let's shoot. Holding Nico's hand. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's you don't you don't remember anything? Nothing. You know, if you've never drank meat before, sometimes two can be alive. He's but, he's the size of an ox. He's not gonna get he's not gonna have that kind of a reaction to like, it didn't like a glass. Feel like a lot. Like my head was kind of funny, but How does your head feel now? Do you feel like stuffy? Headachy. Do you feel like we're yelling when we're not? Do you feel dehydrated? No. Not your just, skin, your your inside. I was like, I was at a fountain. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Jugan, how do I feel? Give me a con save. Twenty one. Hungry. You want lots of meat. I'm starving. I mean, that's that's actually something that I feel when I have too much to drink. But maybe it was well, just anybody too much to drink. No, I actually, mean, I'm... go ahead. All right. No, go ahead. I'll DM it to uh, Kalis. Okay. I, I'll so be you... honest. I when when I, when I when I overdrink a little bit too much, and you know, I don't do it too much, but it happens occasionally. I don't do things that are out of my character. I only do things, you know, that I might, you know, need a little extra courage to do. Nothing. I, I don't do anything stupid or rash. I, it's like that none, of this, none of this, this happened when I drank with Manny. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I, I think, I think something's going on. I think we need to figure this out. You know what? Let's, let's just get back to the inn quickly. I have a, I have a hygiene kit. You can use whatever's in it if you want to, to clean up. And we'll we'll have some breakfast, and things will be easier. It'll be easier to think on a full yeah. belly instead um, of. As we're walking, because I'm walking like directly behind Providence, uh, almost involuntarily, like I lean forward and just kind of inhale. Just me. Yeah. You oh, great. Have... 
I s you smell different than you normally do. What do you mean? Better? Thank you. I don't know if that's a good thing. Well, how do I smell? And he, do, like, I, do, I, he, do, like, I, do I smell he, as like, good? Takes an, takes a voluntary step back from you. Yeah, smell me. See if I smell good. Yeah. Verona, not the time. Smell like a orc? She's... You get the same vibes. I take another step away from her. Let's just right let's just get inside. <clears throat> Here, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach into my little hygiene kit and just pull out some like a thing of some some like essential oils basically, and just hand this to Kalis and be like, you can use this to distract yourself from any of our smells. I know none of us showered yet today. I actually do take a dab and put some yeah. just under my nostrils. I've done it before because. Monks don't bathe a lot. Yeah. What wait, what'd you, put, what'd you put there? Just uh, like a dab of an essential oil. Yeah. Just underneath my nostril. <laughs> uh, Jugend, uh, or sorry, DM. Um, I think instinctively Providence would just let her, her magic awareness, like the barbarian wild magic feature pop up. Does she get anything from, from Kalis out of the ordinary? <laughs> I am I am now just like <laughs> trying to get it off of my face. Is, what did you give me? It's just it's uh ba -ba -ba. Hold on, it says it on here somewhere. La lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Ugh. You know, sometimes sometimes people who are blind have extra senses that are very sensitive. I mean I've always I've had a better about that. sense of smell and hearing but this is just this is different okay well let's just try to get providence, back to then. providence since you always smell good do you even bathe i mean occasionally. I that was like part of your character like core yeah. character description yeah your she's just, always perfect as well. her hair is her <laughs> hair is like always perfect right now it's like flowing in the wind just like beautifully and she just like smells pretty decent all the time she she bathes, but she doesn't. She, she could probably go several days without needing to. And like, as we're wait, are we there yet? We're there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just, just. I'm ready to get inside now. And like, his voice is getting deeper. Are you sure you're okay? I am not okay. Let's uh, maybe let's he stop, just guys. Said puberty. Well, okay, that... let's Gosh. let's not get hostile, Kalis. We we're just trying to help. I I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just scared. Uh, Pro Providence, how about you and I jog with Kalis back? Get him there. Yeah, let's go. Him. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, Kalis. Get the get the energy I, out. I hope it. You uh, have not hooves. <laughs> DM, you know what I mean. Who is faster? <laughs> it is now a competition. Do you want to athletics roll it? Yes, please. Well, what's yes. y'all's movement? First off, what's y'all's movement? Is there, everybody know. 30 still? 30, 30, 30, 30 yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. get... When do barbarians get extra movement? Where did they oh, move yeah. movement to? Yes, 30. I'm only level 4 barbarian, so... Yeah. Mm. Rangers right. also get extra movement, but not. I, I'm only level 4, so... Oh, boo! I only Athletics? Got a, yeah, I only got a 16. Athletics. I got a 16. Uh, Kalis, we tie. <laughs> Kalis, you can I got a 14. Oh. Uh, I got a 26. Okay, I was going to say, if you don't yeah. need a lot, but I have a negative one for athletics, that's... I was like, I have a plus eight. Yeah. So, uh... You, you hear almost a... Like a growl as Kalis just poof, takes off. That's... Nico, this is unnatural. He should not be that much faster than yeah, I'm I'm gonna be trying to sprint after him. And hey, what as up? I as I get like out of you know, like twenty or thirty feet ahead and I realize that I can't sense them around me, I stop. His son's yeah. gonna hang back with glitch. Alright. 
Well, that being said, let's go back to the out combat initiative on your way back. Since now the party is split between Kalis, Nico, and Providence, we now have Glitch, Isam, and Arnus. So we'll go Glitch, Isam, and Arnus. What are y'all doing? Uh, just walking back. Uh, I'm looking around to see. Or trying to listen to people if they know anything without asking them where he came from, why he was there. Mm. Uh, you just hear, like, they, they have more, like, you hear all the same stuff, like, why was he in the, like, yeah. In, why was he in the fountain, blah, blah, blah. And you get a couple, give me, give me a perception check. Okay. Yeah, and I give him a help action on that. Possibly. I don't need it. I need it. It won't matter. Maybe. Oh, you can roll your perception check if you like, if you're trying to listen as well. Mine's a five. Mm -hmm. I rolled a one. What do you want? Mine's a twenty-seven. Uh, yeah. so you you're hearing like you're still hearing some of those questions that initially like why he was in the fountain, but you also get a a few here and there. It's like, did you hear a few more? few more people went missing last night near near, uh, near the Central Heights district yes yes uh, uh, yeah uh, people just, a lot more people's going missing lately they need to figure these mission stuff out Ooh. you hear that conversations between people yeah Arnus what are you doing uh, There we go. Hey, Isam. Oh, wait. Isam. Yeah. He knocks. I'm sorry, I was not being bad. Sorry. I didn't um, sorry. <laughs> uh, do you think it could have done be when he bit you? Something before that, maybe during his fight? He did say he got bit. I don't know, Glitch. You know, Kale is better than I do. Um, he wasn't do like think? this before. He wasn't like this before. When we first met him, he was very timid, but not in the sense of fighting, more in the not really going out and beyond doing these random fighting, rallying stuff. It's because I had an effect on him, correct? Is that what it is? Is that what it's sense in a turn to? Well, I, I've i met people that started drinking and it just completely changed their personality. Um, it could be that, but it started before he started drinking. Aggressive. Remember, he you didn't start so? drinking recently, like not too long and ago. Maybe he was slipping something on the side before he bit me. Has he ever bit you, Glitch? No, I think it's a new thing. He's taken up. Just think all around biting people. Do oh, he's into biting. Oh, yes. Go no Corona, oh, now's not the time. <laughs> this is serious. Do you, what, you wanna? do you think he could be having what? some emotional yes. issues? Yes. Up we go. I mean, he lost um, his friend, it sounds like. And there's a lot going on. It's the first time I'm having freedom in a while. Maybe it could be psychologically overwhelming. <clears throat> Possibly. Though he wasn't I'm gonna really look at... captive very long. I'm going to look at my hands uh, to see, like, the bite where he bit me. Like, what does that look like? Oh, good idea. Or is it all healed now? Oh, you're talking about the one on that where he bit you? Yeah, yeah. How long ago was that? that was, was that like four days or something like that? About four or five days, yeah. Yeah, it's probably more of a bruise now. I mean, it just looks like it normally would when someone bites you, but... I don't know. Maybe when he got captured, I, 
there was something traumatic that happened. And I know even for a short time being in captivity, but then also just all the things that happened to make you captive can be really traumatizing. Maybe one of us should try to help him talk out his feelings. I don't know if I have the strongest connection with him, but you two know him better. Yeah, we'll try that. Unless, do you think it might be something else, Glitch? Or Darwin is? I think it might be something else. I don't know. He said that he's been acting off ever since that battle, that one-on-one -on -one battle when he killed that person. Not sure exactly what exactly happened because we couldn't see. Had he killed someone before? That was his first one, I believe. Well, that sounds like it. I don't know why, but it feels like there's something more. It's just off. I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't feel like that exactly. I mean, he was raised in a cult. He's always been a little bit strange. Why Why is it everything a cult with you? Everything's not a cult with me, but you've heard him talk <laughs> about his past. I mean, it's not normal. <laughs> Maybe. But I imagine killing someone for the first time must be incredibly traumatizing. Regardless, I think while we should spend some time, I think helping Kalis, we should also consider that whatever's going on with Zafoon is probably very urgent. I just heard some people talking about how there's more people missing. If we wait too long, there might not be a town left here. Yeah. So I guess we'll hit the end, get Kayla some food, get him dressed and everything, and then head to Zafoon and figure that out. And then we'll work on everything else that we need to work on, which is a lot. Who do you think the best person to talk to Kayla about his feelings are? Yes. Just ask him? Uh, I think you'd have Providence or... Like as an intervention? No, that not everyone. No, let's not do everyone. <laughs> I could either think Providence or maybe Glitch. Maybe even me. I don't know. Because we've been with them the longest so far. Providence is wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder how that would turn out when it comes to do with feelings. Um, but I, I think they could make a great pair. But not, not, not in that way, Verona. Not in that way, Verona. Not in that way, Verana. Okay. That's not what he meant. Verana, love takes time. That, that, ay, Dios. Who say anything about love? <laughs> More lust right now, but besides that. Listen, I, I just, I just been really hot lately. I need to blow off some steam. So, like I said, glitch is all, always available. Did you just offer him up? <laughs> <laughs> You're also right. right if, what? Okay. She's also available. It says I'm available. That could be fun. There you go. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. I, I already have but one person on my... But I don't think I can afford you. You're about to be affording my foot up your ass if you keep this up. There we go. Don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah. I'm going to go catch up with the others. I am tired of this talk. We'll figure out who's going to talk to Kalis, or Kalis will talk to one of us. So. All right. We'll pan over back to the other three, which is Kalis, Minko, and Providence. Uh, Providence is sprinting up to catch up to, to Kalis. Yeah. We'll say I you mean, did, if he. Because he stopped. So. Yeah. yeah, I stopped. All right, uh, okay, so I'm probably the least athletic of you guys, so how about I set the pace and we'll get there as quickly as possible, okay? Okay. And then All I right. kind of like lean over to Providence. Why are you so slow? I am not slow. Don't you dare say that. I mean, I'm going to start You're talking. just really fast. It's, let's, is she getting winded? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm barely breaking a sweat and she's just like panting over there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> 
I know. Oddly enough, that's the one that delivers packages. No wonder she's late. I'm, I'm not winning. <laughs> I'm not as beefy as these two. <laughs> I'm sorry that I can't use dexterity for running. I have to use strength <laughs> in this it's game. It's called endurance, yo. <laughs> no, I We're don't know. We're not running like... that far. <clears throat> Kalis, did you know that you just, like, growled when you started to run, too? Uh, yes. I, I think I've I've heard you growl before. I thought it was just, like, your stomach or something. But... Don't know where that came from. I'm not a growling kind of... I know, and that's why I'm saying this seems like out of out of ordinary for you. It feels weird. Yeah, do you do you have so I know that some of the, the paladins uh from from Silphrenus Temple had abilities to like detect, you know, well definitely like the presence of evil and magic. Do you think you could do that on yourself? Yeah, I'm divine sensing right now. Find sensing for Fey, Fiend, and uh, Undead. Yeah. I'm guessing we log rested, right? Did I log rest? Yes. Okay. I need to. Yours is just a, a little bit more time. restless. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, the bots are in force today. Thank you. Whoever got it. Uh, you define sense. Uh, Providence, I answered yours a while, while ago. Oh, yeah. Is that what I see around him or just around everyone? About on you when you do it. I, I, but I was looking at Kalis. Oh, it's just around the area. Okay, what do I see when I look at Kalis? Other than what he normally yeah. has as okay. far as, like, magic weapons and stuff. Uh, Kalis... You sense a lot of undead. Oh yeah, I already did that. As soon as I sense that again, and I don't sense anything different about me, I drop it immediately. Like I don't want to feel well, that again. Let me describe it. Oh okay. <laughs> Fuck. Like, no, no, no. This time, this this time, you can see them like being dragged somewhere. Like they're or, or not dragged, but being pulled, pulled. somewhere behind you. As you, if you're walking back towards uh, the mystic, majestic, yeah. I mean, you can see the souls getting pulled somewhere. Okay, well, I'll drop it, and I will make a note to talk about that later. Um, I don't sense anything different. Yeah, I, I I can't do what you do, but I don't I don't sense any, sense any like weird magical effects. I don't know. Maybe maybe a song can sense something. I'm not sure. Something isn't right. Did anything weird happen in the past few days? Well, I mean, there's a there's kind of a ton of weird stuff. But anything weird yeah. happened to you? Shadow creatures. Happened, but it hasn't happened to us. No. The only thing that I've ever done without you guys was the the Coliseum fight. What happened in the Coliseum fight? I wasn't there. I had to kill that guy. How did you kill him? And how did the fight go? Like, With were you winning? Hammer. Were you uh, losing? He was strong. And he... You can see Kayla's kind of like... Made a lot of... Growling noises. And had fur. DM, can I do an insight roll on that? You want to do an insight roll on what he's talking about? Or you want to try or a... history, whatever you want. Well, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to set see if he's got the curse? Well, like yeah. Movie? Well, I mean, I mean, like, I want to see how much I would know about that sort of stuff. All right. And, so and you, how can, much... you can roll a history check, and Kalis, if you're thinking back on it, you can roll a history check. You both define type classes, so I may use my inspiration on this. Ooh, I got a dirty 20. I rolled a yes, 19. Also, because I'm there too. I had a 17. Okay. Uh, dirty 20, 17. Uh, what did you get, Nico? Since you're there. For history, I got a 15. 15. 
Yeah, not so much. Uh, there's different afflictions you might could have gotten. You're not quite sure what. Providence, uh, you get more along the lines of reading about, talk, thinking, uh, memory readings about like where creatures that possible infliction and uh, Kalis, you definitely remember specifically one class or whatever in your teachings coming up that uh, uh, lycanthropy is definitely a thing and you may possibly might have it. Or at least okay. you know, or, or you, actually, Kalis, you know you'll be in like the early stages of it of everybody describing what's been going on with it. Yeah. What was the phase of the moon last night? It was full. Kalis? This is going to make you sound like a really crazy theory. It was not full. Really wild. It was not full. But it's becoming full, right? In about four days, it'll be the next. Okay, full. so we're like on the approaching heavy wax. Mm -hmm. Heavy oh. wax. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so Kalis, I At have this. At least you didn't get syphilis or something like that from the bite, so that's bonus. Yeah. That's true. Kalis, I've, I've heard of, like, stories of, like, people, um, you know, getting a, dis like, a, like, a disease where you can... It's a curse. Well, I mean, it is a thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Are you, like, a were-creature? I don't want to say yes. Kalis, that is so freaking cool. Is it? I don't think... I, I I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I'm going to reach and pull out a book. I have... I know you can't... I can read it for you. I have the uh, Werewolf's Guide to Life manual for the newly bitten. If you need... Why do you, why do you have why that? Why do you have that? I like to read. It's, it's a good concept. I also have, I also have the Zombie <laughs> Survival Guide. Um, oh, that might actually be useful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, can yeah. I see that book? There you go. Can no, we the get first inside? One, the first one. Can I have oh, the, clothes? the werewolf? The were yeah. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this book, and you're gonna sit with me, and we're gonna we're gonna read through this book. I mean, I I can read too. I like reading. Yes, d d we can everybody, all everybody read. can read. I mean, I can't read, but. <laughs> About this time, the rest of your party members catch up to you guys because you guys said stop to talk about this. No, we no, were we were no, we were walking we were talking. That's why I wasn't talking for most of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Providence and Kalis were having like a very even keeled conversation, and I, I assume that Nico was like panting and breathing heavily throughout the entire conversation, <laughs> just interjecting words every now and then. I was focusing <laughs> like... on getting us where we were going, <laughs> and then we got there, and I pulled out my book. Okay, we're here. We're going inside. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll just usher him up to the stairs, up to his room. Cool. I will get in, and uh, I'm kind of nerve wracked and shaking a little, so I'm probably gonna need a hand, like putting on my armor. I can help you out with that if you need. Yeah. Uh. Oh equip everything as as you're walking by um, when there's uh, oh, I forgot their titles whatever they say uh, it's like uh, Mr. Kayla so we, we noticed your window was broken out do you have any idea what happened I must have had way too much drink last night and slipped and fell huh Slipped and fell out of a second floor window, and you're perfectly fine. Oh yeah, I'm also, it's I'm also blind. We're we're we've got That's we've got true. some healing amongst our correlate. friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, how how much is it to repair the window, to replace it? Well, check it out. Your first mission. Your tab. Well, no, 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 no. I'll, I'd rather pay for it up front. How much? Uh, 37 gold. That's a rip-off! Damn! <laughs> no, Damn. not 37 gold, I'm sorry. 30, 37 silver. 
Are these windows made out of crystal? <laughs> All right. Um, I'll. I'll I was just... like, Kalis even knows that is way too much money. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take out. Here, uh, here. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Uh, fourteen silver. There you go. I'll re-roll it. No, that's fine. I'm just. I'm still just gonna take out two gold and, and hand it over to them, uh, for the inconvenience. Uh, for previous sprites, for er, net sprites. No, just. Right, nobody gonna let with this. Just for this one. Okay. And we Wait until they find the out what we did if... to Province's room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's what Zufun's saying. Uh, they're enchanted glass where it keeps it clean. So you broke the enchantment. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So. Okay. Well, uh, if that will be all, and I just like start walking up to my room. As you're gonna... still le leaving like a trail of water and mud across the. I Nothing I can do clean about up. that. Clean that up. <laughs> um, once we're upstairs, I'm just going to give Kalis a hug. Because he looks real stressed. And I don't know if he's a hugger or not, but I'm going to give him a hug. I am not a hugger. Um, I do go a little rigid. But then I realize like what you're doing, and I soften a little. I don't hug you back. That's fine. But I do like soften a little. That's fine. You haven't warmed up to me yet, anyways. So. I mean, usually it goes soft and then hard. So. That's... <laughs> Good. I'm not the only one. Got that. Went into that. Eventually, everybody ahead. else also <laughs> arrives after you get there after being hung up by the helps and the helpers and or the staff members. Yes, yeah, and I guess we'll be in the process of. Because I do have right. another set of clothes, so I'll put like the. Uh, Are you gonna put your armor on like this the time? the padding, yeah, and then. I'm, I'm helping with that. Yeah, Nico's so, gonna help so, me put on my armor. I uh, imagine everybody's just standing around the room watching you get your armor on. Ooh, not that, that you like... can tell. Yeah, I was like, like maybe I don't know. <laughs> All right, everybody's in your room helping you get your armor on. Okay, so Providence is now pulling out the book. <clears throat> Providence, what's that? The... Uh, it's a book that Nico has. We think we have an idea of what's going on. I think I'm a wear creature. Um, like mid, like mid pauldron, like. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm okay. gonna yeah. just call over and be like, it, it does <laughs> say something about needing to buy lots of raw red meat. That sounds very good. Um. This could be a sign of trauma. What do you think, Iwanis? No. Uh, how much? Can I roll a history check? To see if sure. I know anything about this? Because, I don't know. Eh, 16? about how much does Nico know? Hmm. Maybe Isam, but it could be more. I think they might be right. I the don't guy, know much about it. The guy that I fought mm -hmm. in the Coliseum. The one that I had to kill. Yeah. Uh, do you do you remember when we were in the the cell next to him? The, the holding cell, mm -hmm. and he talked about how he could change. Yeah, I uh, yeah well, yeah he did mention he could change, not like the way I can, but yeah, he said he mentioned he could change. He he became something big and strong and kind of hairy and very growly. Huh. D okay. So could it be that the first person that you killed, you subconsciously absorbed the desire to keep him alive by becoming him? Is that a thing? No. Did I, I do think that? So. I don't think so. <laughs> D okay. <sighs> Not with those ads. Anything? Act okay. <laughs> Just. I'm trying faced. to remember. I th trying to remember this. <sighs> How do you get like a, the 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 wear stuff? He bit me. I, okay. I I remember like we we covered liker entropy just briefly in my studies. Mm -hmm. um, I don't deal a lot with the moon, but. Uh, it's usually transferred through a bite, and I do remember. And remember, you helped me bandage it. Oh yes, it. yeah, that's right. We were supposed to look at that too. 
Yeah, and then we, uh, we kind of had to escape very quickly. Yeah, yeah, very, that's right, that's right, yeah, that's right. So you did get, but okay. So that, ooh. God, I wish Manny was here. Um, the, the book says that the blood and saliva of werefolk contains a contagion that acts upon the pituitary gland. What is a pituitary gland? It, oh, it's it's a it's a brain thing. So, uh, Jugen, does Isam know whether or not remove curse could cure lycanthropy? Roll me a arcana check or a history check. I mean, it's a, it's a spell he's got. Oh, it's I get that. Easy oh. to die. Hold on one second. I'll allow you to roll with advantage because of what you are. Okay, that's good because the first roll was pretty bad. The second roll was a natural 20 plus zero, which you do a know, natu- uh, does you, like a 20. You do know, <laughs> like uh, Providence's curse, uh, this is a different type of curse that Remove Curse will work on. So you got two if, people in your this, party is cursed. If this cursed? isn't something that's purely psychological, and I'm not saying it is or isn't, um, I do have the ability to remove curses. Should you want to, I don't know if that's something you even want. You it might isn't. feel better carrying a piece of this person along with you. I don't know. That might help assage some of your trauma. I'm not sure. No, uh, Gillis, as curses goes, yours is awesome. Well, for now. But I, I don't want to wake up at a fountain or hurt somebody. Yeah, Providence, you didn't get bit by him. <laughs> oh my god, did I turn you into a aware thing? No. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what does the book say, Nico? Does Not that it... I know. Nico, what does the book say about... Is it before or after the moon? I don't remember. Um, Am I going to kill a bunch of people? No, you're fine. This is fine. It, okay, wait. Uh, it says <laughs> wait, to maybe. take your clothes off, fold them neatly, and stash them out of the way. Oh. Before I, transforming. I, I, I was like, I just put my clothes on. Really? Okay, that's... It, remember you're not transforming right now. You're gonna... I think. Um, that's not the right page. Okay, wait. Ethan, you said you have the break, uh, cure curse thing, right? And, I can remove a curse. I was planning on using it on Providence. But um, you guys said that there isn't quite a curse that was in your blood, so... Use Maybe it on Providence. Use it on no, Providence. But but the thing that we uh, thought was not a curse can also affect Isam. So now we have three cursed people. So maybe Kayla's first, because I think that's the most mm. dangerous right now. We have two things going on. Uh, where, someone's um, talking. Hold on. What's... <laughs> Command. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the keeper opens the door and walks in. Just like, ah. uh, there's been more reports coming in of missing people last night. Uh, you're anywhere closer to solving the the case? We yes, we're su- totally yeah. on it. Yeah, we have two suspects right now. We're about to go check them out after we're helping our friend get dressed. Where I'm did they hung miss? over. And he sets people to help somebody get dressed. Have you well, seen this armor? It's he's pretty very big. Yeah. He's a very big guy. Yeah. Um, where did they go missing? Yeah. Where? Where did? Can we have breakfast? Well, breakfast is uh, about to be up in about thirty minutes, so you might want to hurry. Uh, okay. And uh, through Central Heights, uh, the main ones last night. Central uh, and there have been a couple disappearances apparently in High Hill as well. So the boat. Uh, hurry up. Okay. Awesome. Okay. okay. Why is he so bossy? Uh, because we just He's broke the window, and he probably knows that the other room almost got burned. <laughs> got what? Nope. Kaylis, we'll talk about this when we're walking. We don't need anyone else to hear this right now. After we get your food, we gotta move pronto. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I know. We'll get you food. I yes. swear. Guys, there are parenting tips so we can make sure that that Kalis grows up into a really good member of society. I, Kalis, am I really not want... already? Did, yeah, do, but... do you? Okay. I think with this 
curse thing, it might make you a little more angry. Ar Arnis, what's your per uh, passive perception? Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> so you see the book. You see the book that she's looking at. Now, give me a history check. Ah, eighteen. What she is reading is basically made out for like a child book. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> In this world, um, it is. So it, may, it has useful information, but not all of it's going to be completely useful. Nico, that's a that's a children's book. It's it's for like young youth, actually, for like 12, 13 year olds. Let's so it's see. not a textbook. It's not a textbook, but it has information that is useful. OK, so let's not rely on that. Let's get you food and let's head out and get this Sifun guy put away. Or yeah. if I'm yeah. I, think, I, sh I think I should save my spell slots uh, for now to focus on Zafoon. Yes. And then once we have another chance to rest, we can, we can work we have, on that. We on have the four curses. days to the new moon, the, the full moon. So we've got a little time still. Okay, so I'm going to need a babysitter at night. I can do it. I can. I'll, I'll do it. No. <laughs> it sounds just like side eyeing all of the people rushing to like volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, you guys, we all can do it. it I was fun. like, Kayla just thinks you all are really good friends. One of the guys should do it. Glitch or Isam do it. So no, doesn't... you need somebody strong because honestly, if if he if he turns, he's just gonna like crush Glitch and Isam. I'm I sorry, think... but it's kind of true. Yeah. Maybe we not. should try and tie him up. No, Nico and I can handle it. Yeah, okay. and this and this way, you guys don't have to worry about making assumptions of me crossing lines that I wasn't planning on crossing. What lines? Uh, that... Like m moral quandaries? Are you yes. okay, Nico? I'm fine. I'm fine. Everyone else just misread a situation. I told I misread situations a lot. I don't you, like... think so. Mm -hmm. All right, so, let's get your food. Let's get going. We got to. I feel like Verona is probably really good at tying people up. Uh -huh. I'm no. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we can do that. All right, let's, let's get with this. Let's... Man, I could burn them off real quick, too. Burn what off? I, nope, nope, nope. I am walking out like, nope. Mm -mm. Done with the combo. <laughs> I'll see you guys outside. I'm so, like leaning into Providence. What does she mean? I don't actually I don't understand. I don't think she's. I don't know. Don't worry about it. I just ignore her. You um, should try. You should try yeah. some, sometime, Kayla. It, it is. It's very good for meditation purposes. Being tied up. Ignore. Just ignore. Um. Maybe. No, the burning sensation. Okay, she's like, saying that she has an STD. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, that's not normal. <laughs> STD. No. It's a transmitted disease. It only happens when you have a certain activity between two people. Without Wait, clothes on. Like, like biting and the wear thing. Sex. Yeah, yeah it's a different kind. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, maybe just ignore her. Bad. Yeah, they they both want to do that with you. I just want to cuddle you. Actually, I don't. Right. But, what? No. Uh, um, and Kalish just like puts his head down and walks out the door. Like, Plunk. we didn't open the door. You walked into it. I just walk right <laughs> into the door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> buddy, buddy, you're having a bad day. It's okay. Yeah. And he just opens the door and goes. <laughs> I'll I'll walk. Sorry, Kalish. I closed the door after me after you guys started that. It's okay. I'll, I'll walk. My right. bad. We'll I'll just go for breakfast, uh, apparently. Yes. So, Vaughn said, does anybody have any silver handcuffs mm, for reasons? <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Uh, you head down. Night. Are you going to have your breakfast now? The food. Oh, we had the breakfast burritos last time. Uh, now we're having seconds breakfast. It's fine. Food. Yeah, you, you, okay. you basically get the rest of the buffet that was left out, the breakfast buffet. So, 
Get the rest of I'm sk I'm skipping carbs and it's just straight meat. Ellis, I think you should probably eat a couple of vegetables. Um, and a little bit of bread. Um, just if this is something I that picture you're... Kayla's just non-controlly growling at you as you're... Yeah, I'm just something. like, I, I like, I take a piece of bread and just put it on my plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, eat it. <laughs> eat it. Then I go, sit down. No, sulking, Kalis. So it sounds like more people have gone missing. Should we make a plan for Zafoon? Yes. We need to get to one of the Zafoon's locations as soon as possible. Okay, so... Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Just a while ago, before we came back in, Providence and I were talking about using our sensing abilities that mm -hmm. we have, and... I, I did to see if there's anything different about me, but there wasn't. But all the undead and things that I felt yesterday that were just everywhere in the city, mm -hmm. they're moving. You moving which, which way? It was behind us. Mm -hmm. Um, it felt like to maybe one centralized location, not like maybe they were being pulled or called. But I couldn't. Once, I once couldn't we get see closer where. to Zafun's house, maybe we could use that to figure Find out exactly yeah. which one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That might be our way to lead to the right one, and then go from there. Is there we... a spot like in town that's kind of in between the two? Yes. Then we, we should go better. there. Okay. And we can do that. Okay. But what are we supposed to do once we figure out which Zafoon it is? Uh, Maybe investigate, see if there's people around, if there, if there is a spell we have to break. We might have to fight them. I don't know. Providence just pulls out her sword. That, that did not yet. No, but it's a plan. I, I know. It's a plan. What? Yes, Rana? I thought we went and did investigation at the town hall determined it was in the high high hill didn't we go get the key no, because yes we, we do we do have a key for a high hill but we but don't know there which are Zafoon. two, there, were two there were two Zafoons. yeah and people one have been high going hill, missing from both neighborhoods yeah. where both of them live so yeah one was in high hill one was in central we weren't sure which one it was so that's why we got the key just in case if it is the one in high hill if not it's the one in central which with Kayla's sensey thing what he does, he can tell us which way they're being pulled, and Nico knows the center spot between both, so we can go straight from there, which direction we need to go to. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's simple. Yeah, yeah we just... Yes. Uh, Keep it simple, guys. Simple is mm -hmm. often good. But for now, let's eat. Let's, let's get ourselves energized for the day. He's been eating the entire time he's been yeah. talking. Like, talking with yeah. his mouth full. Yep. <clears throat> I have never been this hungry. Yeah, this is not like you. And we were, like, captive without food. Mm -hmm. Well, that can shrink your stomach, though, right? So. P picture yeah. if you ever Sh watched Dragon Stomachs can shrink? Yes. Picture if you ever watched Dragon Ball Z, how Goku and all them eat after a fight or whatever. He's just, he's kind of doing that. Oh, my he's got, gosh. Like, five, four bowls stacked up already. Yeah. Hey, Liz, didn't they teach you, like, proper etiquette and manners at the temple? And he, uh, just as soon as you say that and about being taught and being proper, he, like, he slows down and he, like, removes his hands from the table and, like, picks up a fork and he's still eating hurriedly, but it's more of a controlled chaos. Mm -hmm. Feel more like yourself? Yeah. Okay. Remember that feeling. So maybe stop, take a breath, and focus on what you know or remember what you were taught. Yeah. Might help. Um, the the central location would it be anywhere near the? I forgot what it was called. The place with all the shrines. 
No, I don't think so. That was in the opposite direction, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that was on the other side of. Wait, are you else. talking about the so... divine vanguard place? I'm yes. Pull up the map and go. The divine vanguard. No. Right. I so think that was on the other here. opposite side of High Hill. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the far so, side of High Hill. Uh, uh, High Hill. Ooh. Um, one of the locations uh, was up in High Hill. The other one was near, uh, probably about right here, was the other location. Okay. And um, I'm, okay. okay. And High Hill, it. and High Hill was probably one of these. You haven't been there, so you have to go exploring around, but it's in one of these buildings up here. I was just gonna pull up them out and, and kind of generalize what they said. It was. I would just like to maybe meditate on this if we have the time. I think we're running short on time, sadly. Can I just use the? There's a generalized temple here, right? There's a room upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little temple, the like a uh, makeshift temple for people in order all right uh you've been I'm there, gonna actually yeah that's why uh okay, so let's... i'll just i'll finish eating when you're feeling better i do actually have to talk to you i think i saw astaria in a vision last night i was about to say nobody's brought that yeah. up to me either we both did we, we can talk about it later but... okay okay providence maybe maybe you should meditate with him so that he doesn't feel so alone. i don't know i might hurt him I'm I'm not I'm meditate okay. that way. I mean like pray to the you know okay. your... Yeah, I can. I can. Okay. But yeah, I'll finish up eating and I'm like, I'll just give me ten minutes before we head out. Alright. And then you need help? um I'll head upstairs. I'd well, like to be alone if okay. possible. Sure. So you want everybody off the call? No, no, no. I just I'm just going to go meditate. All right. As you head up to meditate, we'll cut back to everybody else. Mm -hmm. As you're finishing up breakfast, I guess. Yeah. Glitch, what are you thinking about or doing in this time while you're eating? I would uh, try to get that book and flip through it. <laughs> Do a quick glance through the werewolf book while I eat. <laughs> Make sure nothing's going to get kind of missed. <laughs> if I was allowed to have the book. If um, not, I would share it. Yeah. Okay. Just have it open so everybody can look at it. Even. Oh, read the page on reproduction. Mm. Curiousness. Mm, there is there is actually a section that's the difference between pure bloods and the bitten, and how if you're born into it. But I think they become shifters after a while, don't they? Like after a few generations. I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just read the book and find out. Maybe <laughs> get a hint. <laughs> is this the book where the girl has to choose between the werewolf and the? Yeah. Tom, what are you doing? Vampire? <laughs> Sam, what are you uh, doing? Maybe. Hold on. Uh, on is Sam, uh, is Sam will just kind of like be sitting next to Providence and he'll say, "Look, I mean, whatever Kalis is going through, he he seems upset, and he might need someone to talk to his talk to about his problems and." I'd be happy to. I don't know. Maybe the. Stop talking. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Providence. Well, that's very kind of you, Verona. You're going to get torn by a werewolf. <laughs> I, I think I. I don't know. Maybe the two of you should bond or something. Yeah, I'll sure. try. You're... We both lived in a temple for a little while. Hmm. Not the same one. Yeah, you both, you both are very religious. Um, <laughs> he kind of yeah, like, you actually, one of his you eyes see, kind of like blinks. 
You actually, <laughs> you actually see Providence kind of not. I don't know. There's like just a waver on her face as you say that. He just kind of nods it, but doesn't really say anything. But yeah, we definitely need to find time to talk to him about everything we saw with Astaria. Yeah, he might have some more insight, but maybe as soon as the Froon thing is over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and we we have to we also talked to him about what we saw last night too. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, sorry, I'm tired and distracted. <laughs> That's all he sound does. All right. Uh, what about? All right, we'll go over to Kalis because he's back. Are you doing anything, Kalis? I am. I'm literally. I'm just sitting in the temple, uh, and just centering myself, remembering what it feels like to just connect myself to Astaria, and maybe not directly. I don't. I don't want an intervention right now. Um, I don't know if I'm worthy of it. And so it's mostly just me trying to, like, recenter and pull myself back together through an act of meditation um, before we go do whatever this is we have to go do. Okay. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. Twenty-four. Uh, you, as you're sitting in medita meditation, you start remember seeing visions and stuff, and you start seeing a star on the day you conceived, or not conceived, but born. Born. Yeah, uh, and then you withstand and pull yourself out of it. And then he'll just kind of hold his little medallion that his mom gave him and breathe for a second. And then, or that was his mother's because she couldn't technically give it to him. Uh, <laughs> but, and then he'll head back downstairs. Okay. Uh, Arnus and Providence, or Nico, Arnus and Providence. What were y'all doing in this moment while he's still sitting around waiting for Kayla's to come down? Providence is still continuing to eat while listening to this conversation. Surprising that she has, like, really nice um, etiquette. I'm, uh, I was, I was actually also wanting to go to, to, to spend some time at the little temple area, but Kayla said he wanted to be alone. So I'm just kind of leaning back a little. I've got my lucky coin in my hand and I'm just kind of silently praying for uh for the vagabond's blessing on our day today for the best of luck hopefully hey uh does does he answer hmm sorry that's the vagabond right yeah yeah D does he answer uh i mean i i I'm, i think in like my periphery i've seen the the golden eyes a couple times but uh, I haven't, I haven't, uh, what is the know, coin? My... you want to describe what the coin looks like? Um, it's a quarter. Uh, <laughs> no, like it's a game. quarter with a happy face scratched on one side. You can't see it. And a sad face scratched on the other. It's not uh, a, it's not actually a special coin in and of itself. It's a coin that I've, I've literally just kind of scratched. Uh, I, I was picturing positive. like two face coins. <laughs> No, no, no. This is this is this is still to like be more about luck. But instead of calling heads or tails, it's just is it going to end with the positive side up or the negative side up? Um, but okay. and and if anything ever happens to the coin, I can just pull out a fresh silver or something and and carve it on it again. But. Um, no. Yeah, no, my um, my my family back where I'm originally from, uh, they taught me about the vagabond and, and worshiping him. But um, 
I don't know, it's been hard to kind of keep up with that since I left home, so um, I haven't had any, I don't know, like you guys have kind of mentioned talking and having conversations or something with your your deities, but I haven't had anything like that, but I've, I've, I've sensed his, his presence, so. Mm-hmm. And I'll get back to my little silent prayer for uh, requesting the blessing of good luck for the day. <laughs> but... All right. Arnus? Arnus is just staying quiet, uh, just trying to figure out how to figure out how to um, with the Safoon, with Kalis, with Providence and Verona. It, it's just a lot. And then Providence and Isom, a lot's happening. Making sure Glitz is okay, then Nico with her thing. It, she's just kind of silently just thinking. It looks like she's glou glowering, but not quite. She's very focused on what's in her head and not really kind of paying attention to anyone else right now. Alright, eventually. Would... Let's... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. How distracted is Arwenus? Pretty distracted. Like she, it looks like she, her eyes are unfocused. Like she's like not like present. Like she's so in her thoughts right now. Thousand yard stare. Okay. Uh, eventually, Kalis returns. I'm assuming he returns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would come back to the party. I'm ready. All right. All right, we're good. Yep. Does everyone have what we need for the day? Almost. Uh, Providence grabs a handful of extra food. Probably gets some fruit. Yeah. There's about all that's left is like fruit. They've cleaned up the rest of the breakfast meals. Fruit is the best. Yeah. I love fruit. <laughs> um, uh, Isam will go to Verona and he'll say, uh, you spend so much of your energy giving powers to others. Maybe let me give you powers for a moment or some sort of blessing. And he'll do his like gods of air thing that I forgot how it goes. They'll say like uh, gods of air, grant her speed, gods of time, something, something. And then he'll uh, do the... Um, uh, the blessing that gives you advantage on initiative for Fna. Uh, is it? It's not a time limit, is it? No, it's just the next time you roll initiative, and then he can do it again. He has to touch, touch the person, and then uh, they get. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Really. Vigilant Burn. blessing. You give one creature you touch. Oh, he died. He froze. Oh, no. Time stop. <laughs> nice. I got it, though. Mm. We're good. Okay. Because he did that to me uh, the day before. I'm not sure if that still counts. It it works like one at a time. So, okay. so it's not, uh, it's not, it's canceled. And okay. you okay. use it like once you've done initiative, then it's gone. Yeah. And then I do it again. Right. What well, we haven't done the initiative since you did it on me, because we've been uh, a lot talking. My bad. It's okay. Oh, well, you lost no it then. It's fine. It's okay. All right. It's all fine. Uh, where are y'all headed to? I don't know, but as everybody is filing out, Kalis will hold the door, and then when Arnus walks by, he goes after you, Princess. <laughs> and it's not like a he's not making fun of you; like he is being very formal. Thank you, Kalis, but. Can we lose the princess for a bit? Yeah, I don't think she's a princess in this country, so. I mean, technically, isn't she a princess everywhere? Mm -hmm. Yes and no, but we kind of. Just like I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a paladin, whether I'm in my church or not. It's just secret identity, love. Oh, yeah. like Nanny had. Yes. Wait, what? I mean, <laughs> are you conning people too? 
No, I'm not conning. I'm just trying to not be noticed yet, okay? I want to adventure! See the world! Not be stuck in my castle! Okay, let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get hey, some... there's like a... I war know. going on! I know, it's not my fault, okay? Uh, I feel like it might be a little your fault! It's on the brink of war. It's not quite a full-fledged war yet. I got captured! How is that my freaking fault? Okay, you know what? Now's not the time. We'll talk about this later. Okay. I mean, he kind of does have a point. He did want to go on vacation and bring countries to the brink of war. He did not want to go on vacation. I wanted... Okay, you know what? Now's not the time. We'll discuss this again later. We need to f stop Safoon, and then we can have yes. all these discussions, okay? Yes. Nico, lead the way. All right. Uh, I'm going to take us to an area that's fairly central between... Um, you click on the map? Where are you going? I can't have everything open. My computer is not as good as most of you guys. Um, I will click on it. Yeah, because I was like, somewhere cause where I it's don't very even clear, right like one is this way, one is. It doesn't need to be like directly in the middle, but just there. Perfect. I trust you. <laughs> you want to go to the? She's clicking right in front of the high, high hill gates. No, that's fine. We'll either see things going in or see them going somewhere else. So. Yeah, is that where we're as going? Like, yeah. As long as it's between the two. Yeah. Between the two. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. All right. So, yeah. Um, do you want to tell us if we're going through a gate ahead of us or. Uh... Right. As you're walking through the streets, yes. Uh, as you're the daily bustle going. Um, even in the short time you've been in town, you, you've noticed like there's a substantial amount of people. Has already decreased from one day to the next on hmm. the streets. How big is this town? This is city. Like, this is East Haven. This is a major city. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I didn't mean to say town. I meant city. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. This is a, this is the capital. All right, it's a cap. Pretty much a capital. Yeah, I think I think what she's saying is how many people are actually going missing for it to be a noticeable amount in a city. Yeah. Like, is this like a, a city of like 10,000 and we're missing like 3,000 people? That's a lot. Is this a I city of 100,000 you we're you, 30,000? I'm saying you're getting a sense of like the streets are less busier. Okay. Yeah, we might want to uh, hurry up. Okay. Anyone who can tell us which way things are moving, if you could tell us. Okay. So are we here? We're at a spot. We're either going forward or we're turning i will pop divine sense give me dexterity saving throw kalis excuse me the seven I like... seven <laughs> so as you as kalis does his divine sense uh you see him almost mm -hmm. topple over onto the ground on his butt as kalis you see all these souls just like just more of a, like a mental thing, gotcha. like coming coming straight at you, and you're like kind of stumble back and drop down on the ground as it's going through you and over you to th either through the gate or over the gate. I, I I scramble back to like Providence's knees or essentially, and I turn it off, and then I just point to wherever they were going through the gates. But you gotta see him like stumble on the ground, so I don't know if you want to address that. Uh, there was just a whole, there was a whole bunch. Okay. Let's we'll stand up, Kalis. Yeah. So put your hand down. Yeah, I pull myself up. Hmm. Well, we know where we're going. Yep, I got the key. Uh, we should also maybe let the guards know eventually. They know that we have the. Key. Yeah, they know. Oh where are we going? no! No. Okay. Are there any guards around? Like patrols. You probably There's have the... a few on the way. Captain Not... Blackwood? No. You want me to yell really loud? No. Lieutenant no. Thorn. Um, there will be guards at the gate to to this area. That's where we're going. Okay. Okay. Uh. Or or guards in there, like it's. Yeah, Just, there'll be there... guards. So the, basically, when you picked up the key, it was described to you if you went in the middle of the night, the key would get you in. But during the day, there'd be guards there. It's not manned at night. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then, 
when it, so we... essentially so essentially thinking about it is like a gated community in modern times, right? The gates close at night, but it's open during the day. Made sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yes. Let's do that. <laughs> and walk in. Uh, but as we're going in, I would stop to talk to one of the guards and be like, uh, if there's any way that you could let uh, Lieutenant Thorne and Captain Blackwood know that uh, the chain breakers are uh, conducting their investigation here in High Hill. Uh, do this, sir. Thank you very much. I'll document that. Document. We sound so much like a band. Like I just. <laughs> <up there>. <laughs> <laughs> And none of us are bard. I guess that's our next level. Just everyone multi-class. We lost her. Everyone yeah, takes a level of bard. <laughs> Just so we can all play an instrument. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> can, can we just have a level right now and just everyone take a level of bard? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets a free level of bard. Even if we anyway. don't make the prereqs, just do it anyway. <laughs> I swear we're anyway. not asking for this for the half... half uh, Proficiency and everything. I, ain't there a feat where you can Ooh. learn an instrument? Ain't there a thing? Ain't there a feat I don't know. For maybe that? skilled. I think. Can we have a free feat then? Yeah, oh we'll get skilled. <laughs> I want to be a drummer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Again, we always go off on Just tangents and never go anywhere. This is paws. why we don't ever have combat. <laughs> <laughs> there are ways to level up without combat, Jugen. Like learning. Uh, no, no, you don't complain. You don't have combat, plan. but you will have these long drawn out. I feel like we should get instrument playing experience. That's at least ten thousand experience. Yeah. <laughs> Except we don't go. We're we're a milestone based. I'm sorry, viewers. I am so sorry. No, he's not. I, he I actually am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, where are this? Uh, let's, go, let's, go. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, goodness. Yeah, All right, so, the hills. Nico knows where we're going, right? Yep, I have the address. Are we just gonna like do a drive by? Just like look at it? <laughs> um, I believe it was Train that said this is not a drive by. What? We were talking about bands. Um, let's keep going this way. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> you got you guys I will tell us I will show you where it is but uh you guys can tell me if we're going in or knocking on the door or what yeah. I'll, I'll All keep right, my you eyes get, open as you get to where <laughs> the address is it's a Benson yard and the house looks very very fancy like well kept big uh, metal doors, uh, very like white siding, um, or like off white siding, red shutters. It's just a very, very fancy house. So, how does he afford vinyl siding? That's crazy, and it has. <laughs> It's a four-story house. Oh, it smokes. Um, are you, a I'm going to whisper to Kalis, are you still able to see all the things from before, or is that like a, a quick on and off? Huh? I turned it off. Should okay. I turn it back on? Um, not necessarily. Uh, I, I can. Sort of. Providence, give it a try, I guess. Yeah, I'll use the what, I'll like wild put magic. put my thing. hand on your shoulder. How many times can you do that per day? Uh, three. I did it once so, today. So it's the second one. I was like, I could do it several more times. How far out three. does how far out does it go? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Are you? Getting uh, let me double check. Uh, it's actually yeah. three hundred feet. So, um, sixty feet. <laughs> sixty feet. All right. Well, it's about thirty feet to the front door on the outside of the gate gated area. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely stand out that far. The whole house is glowing when you do yours, Providence. And do I see anything oh. like anything streaming towards it? No, your your yours is more of a sensing magic, magic. sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the whole it seems house, like... but for you, the whole house, you sense magical. 
Okay, I I think I see more more magic stuff as opposed does to. Does it tell you like the school of magic of whatever it is, or you? I just... believe so. Hold on, let me read. The, I'll just read it out. As an action, you can open your awareness to the presence of concentrated magic until the end of your next turn. You know the location of any spell or magic within sixty feet of you that isn't behind total cover. When you see a spell, you learn which school of magic it belongs to. Enchantment. Uh, that's great. Providence doesn't know anything about Arcana. Um, okay. I will use... I'm going to steady myself on Providence's shoulder and I'll yeah. use Divine Sense again. Yeah, it, it, that entire house All is those magic. souls are flooding into that house. The house is entirely this, magic. And the souls are flooding into it. Oh, we're in the right spot. Alright. Uh, Kayla's actually... When you get closer, you don't see actual souls anymore. You see more like tethers now. Like shadowy tethers. Like tendrils and stuff coming out? Not tendrils, just like tethers. Oh. Like how they're getting in is like they attach themselves into like... Gotcha. Like, like a what bungee it like, cord. Kind of, yeah. And it's, it's like going to all over the fucking city. Gotcha. Hmm. Is this a storm the castle situation? Is this a? What, I mean, what, are, what are we doing? His way in, just you guys right tell the front me. Door. I will follow your lead. Someone else is gonna have to break that door down. I got it. I, the, I don't... We have we have our our key. Yeah. yeah that was only for we the. We could use a key. Or Hill. We could Game. knock. We could knock. We could just say that we're asking people about the disappearances. Uh, yeah. Do it. Play. It. Well, too bad we don't have someone to be able to sneak in because I'm not good at sneaking, to be honest. We should go in the back door. <laughs> uh, let's not split the party because splitting the party is never fun. Not a good idea. We should all stick together. I'm probably really good at sneaking. Is there a doorbell? She's literally the way we're sneaking. Just, just, Let's just knock on the door, see if they'll let us in, and then... Doorbells don't really exist unless you do some fancy trickery or whatever. Well, I didn't know if there was, like, a there, magic button or... There are those door knobs that yell that there, there are people at the door. But there's mm -hmm. also little chimes to call the butler, I think. Like where you Providence pull is little... literally already walking through the gate up to the front door. I, I'm following. Let's, I'm not going to let go. her go alone. Go. Okay, okay, move it, move it, move it. Yeah, do you guys want to... Behind. Yeah, maybe stay back. I'll just knock on the door, and she takes the she takes her sword and she uses the like the the pommel from the back so that it's like mm -hmm. nice and loud, and she just like taps on the door quite. As heavily. you go to tap on the door, your hand goes all the way through it and come back out. Did you no. do it yet? Everybody there sees no... everybody sees her <laughs> hand go through and come back out. It's uh, an illusion. Most everyone. Okay, this her hand with yeah. the door. Uh, she pulls her hand back. She, she, yeah, she sticks her hand towards the wall. Eventually, f are you walking through forward at all, or are you just just a hand, it? hand just into hand? the wall, into the, the wall, hand? like next to the door? Uh, uh, I'm, wall. Gonna, I'm gonna guidance oh, glitch. I, I, and let me, him. let me reflavor you knocking with the pombo because, I'll, depending on how far you went in with it, you either may or may not hit the door. By the way, there is some level of illusionary where your hand vanishes as you try to go in and knock on a door. What we're seeing is not real. Okay. Can, can I guidance glitch? Uh, and uh, if you want to do an investigation check. Um, give me just a second. If everybody will stand back 30 feet. Okay, everyone stand back. Move, 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 move. Are you sure I can stand right here? I can take it. No, no, it's not, I'm not damaging anything. I need <laughs> I I don't need other minds around. Okay. Oh. Oh. Steps back. Um, I'm gonna okay. get as close to the door as possible, and I'm gonna flick my medallion and cast detect thoughts. Are you? So, I need to know. Like, are you going through the illusion? No. Um, just going right before yeah. he does, I'm gonna, have, he does I'm, this, I'm gonna have her like stop me or whatever. Okay. Before before he does this, I'm going to cast as as he's doing this. I'm going to cast sanctuary. Okay. On yeah. on Kalis. And what are you and doing? Then I'll, to I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push him right by the door, and I'm walking away. Okay. 
Yeah, and then I'm casting Detect Thoughts. So Is it I go want through this... solid objects. Yes. Okay. You detect nothing inside the building. No thoughts, anyway. Okay. Um, it'll stay up for 10 minutes, so that's fine. I just won't. Uh, and then I pull you guys back up. There's nobody in there. Then we're going in. Uh, All right, let's go in. Could I, could I guidance glitch for an investigation check? Because that's how you usually break illusions. I don't oh, know if yeah, that's... do that. Okay. I guess who knows, like, if the door is trapped or this illusion is hiding something. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to guess investigation. Your investigation, sure. Um, 25. Yeah. Did you add your D4? With your D4? I know. Uh, That's what that Roll it. Do it. it. Do it. Do it. Uh, get that so twenty-seven. Oh. As you're getting no. up close, looking in there, you you sense a sense, and you kind of stick your hand, and you can you stick your hand probably about like another couple of inches to further than Providence did, and you feel the door, and it feels grimy. It feels dirty. Actually, you also kind of feel some like. You know how like buildings set for a long time unkept and there's vines that start growing on the side of the building? That's what you feel. You probably get this chance that this illusion is making the building seem like fancy and stuff when it's actually not. Nobody has to smell anything. I think it's a higher level than y'all have yet. Yeah. I was like, I, no, I know it's a third level. If you're, I'm going to throw wizard, a rock at the house. Yeah. Oh, nobody's a wizard. Wizard's head. Yeah. Just pick up a rock and throw it, or whatever's outside, throw it at the house and see. Uh, can I throw it? No, like, let's throw it. I'm just looking for... You throw the rock, it, it, hit, it goes through and bounces back out of the illusion, like you hit something. The real house is inside, though. This is illusion. Actually, clerics, clerics get the spell magic too. I just didn't prepare it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I know it's a third level spell, and I only have access to right. second level. Uh, Do you just open the door? Cause... Yeah, but what if, the... if it's trapped? Do you think they're just gonna leave their front door no, unlocked if they're going through the trouble? So, of... Would that in... Pro- investigation check of detected yep. any traps or anything? No, that's what he detected. He detected this illusion is covering up a dirty house that's never, it's not been, doesn't seem like it's been kept at all. So, uh, pro- pro- Providence? Uh, yeah. So, How confident are you that you could get through a wall near a door that might be less trapped than the door itself? Just open like the smash door. through a door? I mean, smash through a wall? Yeah. Are you somebody that trying would be to open the so door? Fun. Why don't I we throw w- something big if, at the door? If Glitch said that there wasn't any traps, then yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine with the, the door. door. Why well, don't okay. I? Well, then... I didn't detect traps. I wasn't looking for traps. Put but your hand on the handle. You can put your hand on the handle and try to open it. It's still locked. You have the key? I don't think it's the key to this house. It was the key to the, the, key gate, to outside. the gate to the area. Okay. She yeah. takes her sword and she just wedges it by the edge of the door. And just starts to pry. Uh, it's been not good for swords. Give me a general strength check. <clears throat> this I will use my event, uh, my uh, my inspiration on if I have to. <laughs> she lost a you? she lost a race. She needs. A, <laughs> sorry, strength or, or athletics? Just general strength check. General strength check. It's not even okay, I'm system. using an inspiration. God damn it. <laughs> a 10. So uh, your inspiration is gone, yeah. which it was yeah. not very high DC because I was it's just, I was determining how f- much you break off this door is yeah. basically what it was. As long as you didn't roll a one, you were fine. So, I as a two. You, oh. <laughs> so <laughs> you, this wood is so old and decaying, it just kind of splinters like splinters off and either if there is um, 
What's those bugs that eat fucking wood? Termites. 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 If there's termites in this wall, it's definitely in here because it's like rotted out and it easily pries open. And you just don't break the door off the hinges. But you easily open it up. And as you're looking inside, this place is nobody's lived in this thing for a while and you start to get the sense this is probably just a front for whatever is happening yeah guys i think this is i think this we've been had this is not what we're looking for it's There's nothing here it. we might we might find something here I, I, I mean, look is your uh does that thought still coming through yes for how long 10 minutes as you are you walking through the house yeah yeah i mean i'm not Staying by myself outside. You, you start, yeah, you start hearing, uh, you start detecting thoughts uh, in the living area towards some somewhere in the living area. I'll like hold up a hand to stop and okay. point. How many? How many? How many, Julian? He's uh, counting a battle map. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> About seven thoughts. And you detect another thought is not humanoid. And you're not sure. So as this is happening, Providence uh, speaks to Kalis, uh, Nico, and Isam. No. Isam and Kalis. And she's like, okay, guys, we need to be repaired. Kalis. You're, you're feeling okay? Yeah. It's on. Just be you. And she's going to use her um, uh, <laughs> holding bond. So you guys get a d4 on all of your first attacks. Oh, cool. So we're we're thinking this is probably going to go violently? Yes. yes. Get prepared. Now. Okay. Um, as we're like, I'm going to hold off until we're running in. Um, but as just before we go into the, the place with the voices in Kalis's head, I'm going to cast Bless on Glitch, Arwenus, and Ble a bl a Bless only lasts a minute. Yeah, which is why I'm doing it like as we're walking in. Uh, You're not just walking into a living yeah. room, you don't see anything. Okay. Because That's you fine. hear it below you somewhere. Oh. Oh well, if he pointed You'd, downstairs, that's I, different. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, what I gave him is where he hears it at. He hadn't told me he walked in there. Nobody said they walked in there yet. So he I actually did say he walked in. Yeah. Oh, I did not hear him say that. I just, that's okay. Everybody was everybody but, was uh, talking. So, yeah, you hear I, it below you on the floor. Below. Ground. Okay. okay, and I all point, and then I'm gonna kind of like listen. I just want to hear what their surface thoughts are. Uh, what language you speak? Uh, common, celestial, elven, and dwarven. You do not know what this language is. It's almost kind of like um, hold you, on. you definitely get the vibe they're chanting at some sort, but you do not understand this language. Just a second. Thoughts might not require a language. Yeah. Hmm. That's good. That's my yeah. That's a good thought. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I think Detect Thoughts has an actual statement about this. That's that's yeah. what I'm reading. No, most. Yeah. Uh, you initially remove oh. surface thoughts of a creature. Um, as an action, I can push deeper. Uh, you gain insight. If it succeeds, the spell ends. Either way, the target knows you are probing into its line unless you shift your attention to another creature. Question is verbally directed, may shape their thoughts. Um, once you detect the presence of a creature in this way, you can read its thoughts for the rest of the duration just described above. It doesn't say anything about languages. So I'm gonna play it off as whatever, whatever they're thinking about is in their language or what they're thinking about. So that's how I'm gonna play it off. 
Just like try to repeat it. Maybe maybe you'll say it clearly enough that it's a language one of us knows. Uh, but I'll just say that I don't understand whatever language they're saying. Yep. Can you can you like repeat one or two words? I I will do my best. Give me a performance check. Five. This is like when when a kid in kindergarten tries to imitate. Yeah, some pretty much. It's just it's just jumble. Like he's so he's so focused on trying to figure out what they're saying, and he's just slurring the shit out of it. Maybe get, maybe he maybe he slips in too many growls while he's trying to do it. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I think there are goblins down there. Well, whatever it is, we better get down there soon. I was like, it, they're not... They're probably not friendly. I can't make the assumption that they're not friendly. Mm-hmm. Because we don't well, know. But we do know the context that this house is sucking souls into it. Yes. And it sounds like a ritual that we should probably yes. stop. So, okay. s- let's find a way downstairs? Well, there should be a staircase down, or... You might want to do an investigation check with advantage because Glitch is pointing towards... Glitch! Uh, <laughs> you should suck. Start... I didn't say Or did I say Kalis? I meant to say Kalis is kind of pointing. It, it only yeah. works for one. It's a single-use guidance. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll uh, give it a try. Oh, my bad. I was like, it's also a character. I'll give him some more guidance. Yeah. 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 More guidance. Ooh, I got 18. I have found the staircase. You find a um, rug that has uh, been covered, that covers up a, a trap door. You can just watch Arunus kind of look strangely at something. Go, that rug is not in the right spot. You toss it. Give me a constitution saving throw as you're tossing it. <laughs> Ten? Ten. You start coughing because all the dust that flaps up in your face. <coughs> should be more careful with that. Uh, I'm gonna, kind of, I'm gonna pay. I'm paying attention to the thoughts again to see if they change from what they were. No, nope, because I just rolled terribly. So, okay, good. <laughs> I, I like. I give it. I rolled a natural out. one, so. I believe that means you rolled wonderfully, Jugen. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pull on the trapdoor. Quietly. Yep, quietly. Do you want me to jump down there and just start it out? There is a stair spining or winding stone staircase going down, and, and you can hear chanting. Do I? Do, does does any of us recognize quietly? the language? Does anybody oh, speak yeah. Draconic? Yes. No. How do you speak every language? Because it's literally <laughs> what I made my character for. Being having high initiative and languages. I'm not good at nice. anything else. <laughs> but uh, I'm just wondering like physically how you like manage to pull it off is the, uh, the thing I'm impressed about. She travels a lot. Yeah. Well, I, I mean like the uh, the mechanics of the game, like it's where do you even off. get like a million languages? Uh, but as you open the the trap door, the chanting stops, and you hear, you wish to join the cult of Safoon. Come on down and pledge your allegiance to Fluffy. Is that in Draconic or Common? That's in Common. Okay. Coming Did I up catch towards you. Draconic? Can I do a history or religion check on Fluffy? <laughs> Historically, we heard about a guy whose cat's name was Fluffy, like, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, you already <laughs> heard that. I'm giving you for free, but Fluffy is a name. Should I do I'm a religion just... check? Would that be something I could do? I mean, I don't know. Yes what, or no. Describe to me why we're using religion for a name Fluffy. 
Because I mean, they're pledging allegiance to Fluffy, so it sounds like some sort of religious thing, you know? Yeah, like some kind right. of god that they're... Okay, right, roll me a to. religion check with disadvantage. Also, Islam mm -hmm. calls every religion a cult, so... Yep. Well, that now, all cults was... are based on religions, by the way, guys, and just saying. Not all cults. Yeah, I think that would have been a natural 20, but instead, because it's with disadvantage, it drops to a 14. Okay. You never heard of any god named Fluffy. I've never heard of this god named Fluffy. I don't think it's a god. Go down? <laughs> yeah, I'm let's go. Down. You guys I mean, uh, hammer, hammer I need, out. I need a marching order, please. I would assume. First. Okay. Second. Third. I'll be I'll be not at the very back, but pretty close. I'll be like second from the back, unless someone really wants to not be last. Don't forget to add Verena. I'll be as close Whoa. to first as I can be without the other people that have already. Oh, I can be at the back. I'll activate my magical armor. Sorry, I'm just trying down. to be the meat shield here. Yeah. yeah. Did, did well, you yeah, did you bless did Nico did you bless people before going down? Was no. that what you were gonna do? Yeah, I, no, screw that. Fine. Yeah. We'll be fine. Dun, dun, What's the worst dun, that can happen? Murder. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm nothing. They Ever summon happen. something that gets us. Yeah, if I'm yeah. able to cast bless as we're walking down, I would like to, but. All right, first off, first person down. Uh, do you have, uh, what's his face, your spirit animal? Uh, I, I, the one. My thing's not showing up that I'm talking. Uh, yeah, I was, I'm gonna, uh, summon, um, um, yeah, Nova. You wanna have Nova out with you? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have Nova out with me. All right, who's behind you? Me, Providence. Alright, who's behind you? I'm as soon as I can go after the marshals, I suppose. So then it would be Kalis, then either Glitch or myself, and then Verona's at the back. No, be Kalis, Isom. Yeah. Sorry, yes, 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 yes. That's that's what I meant. Nico, Glitch, Verona. Yeah. yeah. So who's after Kalis? Isom. Then after Esam, Nico. Then Glitch. Mm -hmm. Verona's at the back Brian. because she's afraid that uh, Providence is going to yell at her if she gets too close. Sure, to that works. Because Providence <laughs> has yelled at her about that already. Accurate. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Don't wreck that body. <laughs> um. Someone and Jugen, am I able to get in a uh, casting of Bless before? Like, as we're going... Remember, it only lasts a minute, so unless y'all directly go into combat... That's fine. My... I have more than one spell slot. Well, we could say, uh, if you want, you can have it pre prepped and ready to cast. Okay, I just, I, get... I don't want it to cost me my action in the first round of combat, is okay. what I mean. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> they're not outright hostile with y'all, so... Yeah, they invited us down. It will be. They want to be friends. As you get down, they're wearing like these dark bluish, blue, dark, almost bluish black cloaks. And they have like these um, golden green slash whatever half plate over to the self, uh, over their shoulders. And they have like this face mask and it's hood heavily is scaring their eyes and all you can see is like the whiteness of their eyes and Jesus. Ah, so you come to join the cult of Zephun. Your first act is to be inducted by swearing fealty to Fluffy. And as you look over to your right, you see a cat in a very nice chair just sitting there licking its paws. And, and, and you look over, you see somebody <laughs> kneeling and uh, kneeling down, swearing their allegiance. 
Um, how close do we have to get to the to to Fluffy to swear allegiance? Because like a- allergies are kind of a thing, and I... right where uh, as soon as a uh, newest joiner swears their allegiance, that's where you do it at, or you can all do it at once. And and what does it entail exactly? That's where your allegiance is a cult for the greater cause. Do you guys Sorry. have like a pamphlet like that we could read about? Yeah. It's okay. kind of a secret cult type deal. Just know. Fluffy, you must swear allegiance to Fluffy first before entering the next level of knowledge. Kalis, are you allowed to be in two cults? Yes, Kalis. What's Fluffy? <laughs> There's a cat on a chair. I'm assuming everybody comes down now. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you put Providence a little bit closer to the action? Just trying to put her body in front of everyone else. Where do you want to be at? Like five feet forward. She's also looking back at at uh, the leader Arwenus, and and she's kind of like eyeing the cat and pointing to her sword. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll just hold on. Why are we We're... swearing allegiance to a cat? Well, they've asked us to. We haven't said yes yet. The only Sorry, my my friend but... here is blind. Could you tell him a little bit about your cult? Could you describe Fluffy to me? Fluffy looks like a cali- what, what, what is that type of cat? Calico, calico cat? Yeah, looks like a calico cat. Oh, no, no, not the DM. We want, like, the yeah. cult members to describe Fluffy to us. Can you <laughs> not see the greatness no, of he's, Fluffy? No, he's literally I'm, blind. I'm blind. You guys can see. I was telling you so you guys can tell him. Is a very beautiful calico cat. And this cat is your god? Leader? Lover? He's our... Do you wish to know more? You must swear allegiance. Uh, I'm divine sensing. Isam... I'm, I'm oh, going to cast divine sense. Is that cat evil? Or undead, or fey, or celestial. Nope. It's just a cat. You... It's not one of those things that you detected. Could you put Isam so right, that he's in? Right, we're things. gonna do this because we do have a battle board, and yeah. so now everybody's talking at once. Glitch. <laughs> Where are you going? What are you doing? Glitch is at the top of stairs. Just activate his uh, magic armor. So now it's all Fancy. leathery looking and black. You and... want to stay there? Where are you going? Yeah, Where I'll stay going? there and like light. I'm staying there. Okay. Uh, Kalis, what are you doing? I'm trying to just sense any thing that is bad um like is this there, place under the no, hollow spell you, you do not uh you do not tet any fey fiend or undead celestial or celestial okay except for me and some well oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I i i've been tuning those out <laughs> Um, do you want to go anywhere? You want to? What do you want to do? Uh, I want to kind of step up and out of the way of the stairwell and be more with uh, Providence. Providence. To the left or right of her? Uh, to the right. Uh, we cannot they, allow you to be so close to Fluffy, so on. I just. Uh, this is as far as I'll go. And I'll 
leaned down and I'm like, I think that's just a cat. Uh, Isam, what are you doing? Where do you want to go? I was just, like, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted Isam as to be positioned where yeah, he's, where you like, go? maybe within. Uh, so, like, position where, where he can be within 20 feet of the person in the middle and all three of those other people. But uh, not over, I was thinking on the left side, not on the right side. Oh, no, Arnus, Providence. So that puts me within 20 feet of all of those guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Guys, I was trying to, like, put myself in between. Be a uh, meet- Nico, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to be as close to the bottom step of the stairs as possible. If I can be standing on that step, perfect. Uh, I'll just put you there. I will let everyone else be a meat shield. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arnis, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna see uh, my uh, everyone else move to left. I'm gonna move to the right and kind of put myself about maybe ten feet from Kalis, uh to the right, uh, more um, towards the other three guys. Yes, and bring Nova with me, please. Uh, Perfect. They, Thank you. They look at Nova. Uh, as you're coming forward with Nova and be like, why do you bring this false prophet here? It's not a prophet. They're my little familiar. Do you not wish to join us? Hmm. It's a very tough decision. I've got to hear more about this, but I'll let you know in a few. It's either yes or no. Are you guys the one stealing souls? Oh. So you have heard of us. Hammer out. And no. And... (laughs) We were stealing soul. Okay. (laughs) Am I able to cast Bless before we start? (laughs) If not, that's fine. I don't mind. Alright, I give everybody a... Oh, no. Okay. You only want to say you were going to, so you can cast Bless. Thank and you. then I need everybody to roll initiative. Um, so, uh, it would have beyond. Been Glitch, Arwenus, and uh, Kalis has been having a hard day, so Kalis, you're blessed. Cool. Glitch, Arwenus. God Kalis. damn it. What? Roll on that one. Oh, roll no! One. Oh, no! Don't, don't forget that. Uh... That Verana has advantage on I've initiative. already rolled it a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> With advantage? Can I use an advantage yes. on mine? You, can... you didn't establish it, did you? By the way, Kalis took that as an admission to guilt. But I was like, are you the guys one stealing souls? And they go, oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, who's getting a bless again? Uh, glitch. Arwenus and Kalis. I rolled a three, guys. I only get 15 for initiative. Oh! Oh! I'm oh. sorry. My Jesus. average is like 25, 26, though. Uh, Weasel? No, it's like 22, 23, but still. Weasel? Yeah. Fuck right off. Okay, <laughs> you made your character good at other stuff. This is my thing. <laughs> All right, and Arnis, what what did you get for your initiative? Uh, I got a thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, Fane got. That is not Fane. Screw you. Fane got a thirteen. That is not Fane. Fane's back. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, not side. Fane. You're right. You're right. Uh, I just didn't change it in OBS. Okay. Verona got a thirteen. That's with advantage? Uh, my camera is Actually, no, it's not. Right no, I'm so sorry. That's Nico. Nico. I, I haven't changed Fane to Nico. That's what it was. Nico got a 15. Yeah, you got a 15. Oh, wait. 
I'm thinking I'm thinking Dragonlands. I have the sidekick on the overlays. I do not. Uh, Kalis, what did you get? 20. Uh, Verona got a 13, so... Uh, uh, Isam, what'd you get? Verona got a 13 with advantage? Yeah. Uh, Isam got a 19. Oh, I don't have to change yours. Nice. Uh, Providence got a 1. I got Total. a 3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, uh, so you can be kind of surprised. Maybe you're thrown off by... Uh, okay, let's just doing that. Uh, glitch, you got a what? 13. 13. It's a lot of 13s. And so, then Gene's not here, so let me go do that. All right, so cool. Kalis, oh, Gene's not here. Esau, Nico. I gotta go up, I'll update the labels and stuff. Arnis, did I not do yours? She also got a 13. My camera is uh, not uh, there. Yeah. You're right, because I turn it on when you didn't. When you yeah, I know. Was. I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to do it. Can't have it. All right. Where is your initiative? Did I do yours already? I did do yours already, right? Eleven. All right. Cool. Uh, thirteen for me. Oh, you got a thirteen? I got a thirteen. It still says thirteen up there, but my camera is yeah. Oh, there we go. oh, it's so small. Yeah. All right. All right, never mind. Alrighty. As you pull out <laughs> your hammer. <laughs> uh huh. So, very well. We have intruders that not head with the cult and the worst of Fluffy. I would like. We need to eradicate them. And Azam, you're up first. No, I am. Uh, I think uh, Kalis is. What did you get, Kalis? A 20. Oh, well, yours didn't come through the D&D Beyond sheet. I rolled it on D&D Beyond. But it didn't come through. Okay, sorry. Alrighty. I see it. I was like, it's on. Oh, my side on the encounter, oh, it did okay. not come oh. through is what I'm saying. Okay. So, Kalis, you're up first. Uh, there's one right in front of me. He's about 10 feet in front of you. Step hey. it up. Hitting him in the face. He is nilt, so I'm going to give you advantage. Okay. He, he was the one giving it. <clears throat> Which I forgot to. Ew, gross. 16. 16 hits. Did you add bless? Oh, yeah. Did you add bless? I didn't, but thank you. I will remember for next time. We also have the emboldening bond, which is a d4 as well. Yeah. Damn, man. Uh, 14 damage. 14? Nice. Yeah. You want to describe your hit? Uh, I'm just walking him on the head. <laughs> All right, uh, he's still up. Then I'm gonna hit him again. Yeah, these guys are, yeah, you are stealing people's souls, and that's not cool. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen hits for another fourteen damage. I hit max damage on the twice. Nice. Um. He, you would you like to describe how you just come up and bash this dude's brains in? Uh, yeah, I just step up and it's just two quick hits right to the back of the head while he's kneeling there. Be like, cults are bad. <laughs> I'll say it was this guy. Alrighty. And then I'll just point the hammer in the direction of whoever was speaking. Oh, that he was... just killed the guy who was speaking. Oh. No, I killed the guy that was devoting himself to Fluffy. Yeah, the newest uh... recruit. Yeah. And you... So if you want to point, it was this guy, but I don't think you can currently see him. But he, you can No, I can't see him. That's why I'm just pointing in his direction. All right. Uh... 
you still have 25 meter feet of movement. You want to go anywhere? Uh, yeah, I am going to go uh, towards the direction of where they said the cat was. Okay, uh, give me a dexterity saving throw, because where he is sitting, he's sitting on, like, rounded steps. Just make sure you don't trip and fall on your face. Well, I mean, as soon as they're within my blind sights. You can see them, but can you see the environment around you? Does that work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Then never mind then. He's like Daredevil. Right. You can get up pretty much right there if you want to get there the, the chair is pretty much the biggest and thing. then i'm just gonna threaten the cat <laughs> as you look up or as you are you looking at the cat or are you just pointing at no nope, i'm just like pointing at the cat i'm like you looking at everybody else Got yeah it. stand down and then that's okay. my turn roll intimidation check okay Boo, Ted. <laughs> okay. Five. I didn't even need to cats. roll the. One of them kind of be like. Don't touch a cat to know it's like other people start laughing. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that your turn? Yep. Assam and Nico, you're on deck. Okay. So would it take Isam's action for him to be like, so you guys really are the ones stealing the souls? Depends on how long this is like asking. a confirmation. This is just a quick confirmation question before he starts attacking. The, you kind of get the vibe as you start to ask that. As you're starting to ask that, Kayla's just brutally, like, brutally murders one of them. And you kind of get the feeling that I don't think it really matters at this point because it's still you, he's air, angrily made him angry. <laughs> so they're not going to answer anyway. Right, uh, yeah, you get the feeling that it's kind of whatever they whatever they say is not going to be using the souls for second, a greater purpose. I'll say that. A second question. Now, if you're going to ask a second question, going to take your action. Uh, he froze. Actually, I don't think he, he was froze. like asking a second question of them. Right. I think it was a second question of you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, he's not. Huh? He's back. He's back now. Here we go. Okay. Oh, the second question I was asking of you was: Do they look buff or do they look skinny? <laughs> you can't see because they have cloak, heavy cloaks on, and then you see the metal breastplate over over top of their chest and shoulders. And then there's also a piece of metal covering their face. All you see is pretty much the eyes. I am going to do is I'm going to coiling grasp uh, you know, the guy that's right in front of me to your right to your left. Uh, the one that's closest that yeah, he's about way. 10 feet away. He's about five feet away. I, there's like five feet between us. Right. So he's like yeah, 10 feet away. About, yeah. The one right uh, next to you uh, I'm I, to the left. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll go. He has to make a DC 14 strength saving throw. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna back up one one square so that I'm next to Providence, and then I'm gonna do that. Well, he fails. Okay, he takes. So Isam's like tattoos start writhing, like the two snakes, like they like surround his neck start writhing and then like this like s like kind of like black smoke sort of like snakes come out of his body and then like wrap around him and he is now grappled and he also takes some force damage does he get pulled by any chance uh he does not get pulled he just can't move forward or backwards without spending his action to try to break it and he gets a uh, strength or athletics, uh, athletics or acrobatics check he can use to try to end the grapple. But he has to spend his action to do it. And that is six, six plus one, 
Fifteen damage. Voice damage. Does uh, Grapple give him the restraint condition? Uh, uh, no. no. Okay. It's grappled. Whoa. Got it. I was trying to find a condition ring. I couldn't find one, so I have to look in the other ones I had. And no. it, does he, he doesn't get moved towards you, does he? Man, these are some great screenshots. Uh, yeah, I'm going to point to spiritual weapon. Uh, I'm going to cast Special Weapon for my bonus action. Out. Did All I right. get disconnected again? Spiritual yep. Weapon. <laughs> Gotta put it Did on. I get disconnected again? Where are you putting it where are you putting his spiritual weapon at? I'm trying to kill Fluffy with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, you did. Fluffy's dead! Successfully killed Fluffy. Good job. So that's a 19 to hit. Uh, and 19 to hit Fluffy? Yeah. Okay. It hits. And okay, I means I'm gonna do eight plus where is the plus at? Uh, eight plus five for thirteen points of damage to Fluffy. As it crites into the form of Fluffy, shifts. As you knock away the hit points of this form of the Fluffy, you now see in its place start to fly above Kalis. This dark dragon, wormling, with yellow eyes, takes off and flying, morphed from the body that it was in Fluffy. I think you was feeling a little cramped in that body. My master would not like you intruding like this. That's what it says. Uh, the only other thing, I think my internet was bad, but I was like moved to the side of uh, Providence, so like maybe like up one. And to the right. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that your turn? And that is my turn. Alrighty. Alrighty, we have Nico up. And um, Arnest, you're on deck. Sorry, can you tell me again, what does Fluffy look like now? Looks like, like a... A black dragon, uh, awesome. like a, a small wormling dragon. Okay, like, he's very has black scaly skin and these bright orangey yellow eyes. Okay, gotcha. Um, cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm going to take out my bow. I want to shoot at the guy closest to me on the side. Uh, near Providence. And I'm going to use my last advantage. You're doing what with Providence? Uh, so the, the person just below the guy who's grappled. I want to shoot him. Got it. The one that was initially talking to you guys. Yeah. Disadvantage, that is... Uh, so that is a... 26 to hit. 26 hits. Right, four. You're shooting with your bow, I'm assuming? Yeah. Uh, for 18 damage. How would you like to do this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I 
take a slow breath and aim and just really hope that the Vagabond listened to my prayers earlier and I release the shot and just let luck take over. Um, and it just happens to get the perfect spot. Right um, in, like, shoot him right between the eyes and it goes out the back and he, as he's about to say something else, he drops. Awesome. Um, and then uh, I'm going to use my second attack on the grappled guy. You have two attacks? Uh, on only in the first round. Oh, yeah, your ambusher. Okay. Yeah. And and I had the extra damage on the first attack. That's why I used advantage on yeah, my yeah, advantage yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. If he is grappled, though, I get advantage anyways, right? I don't think so. I think he has to be prone and grappled before no. you get Pro advantage. Prone, I wouldn't attack. get advantage on a range attack. Uh, I, I don't think grappled. I think grappled is just movement. Oh, no, grappled. they have speed is zero ends when the grappler is incapacitated or when grappled the creature is can move uh, is moved out of reach of the grappler. So, yeah, it's just speed. OK, that's fine. Uh, uh, so yeah, you're thinking point. about restraint. Well, I there I could have sworn there was something more to grapple, but it doesn't actually matter. Um, yeah. I got this guy. <laughs> That's uh, 16 to hit him. 16 hits. Okay. For a big seven damage. Pew, pew, pew. Got it. Seven damage. Um, and, and I'm going to walk towards the... Uh, the pillar over at the bottom there, next to the guy that I just killed. Got Yeah. You wanna, you got, that's 15 Perfect. movement there. That's where you want to go. Perfect. Um, All right. And that is good, because the only bonus action thing I'd want to do would ruin Bless, so that's my turn. Yeah. All right, Arnus. All right. And then I'm... glitch your own deck. OK, I'm going to cast Burning Hands and aim it at uh, two of them since it's a kind of a cone it's within 15 feet uh little, yeah like that those two yep as long as your spirit is immune to fire you'll be fine yep it is yep she is yep she's immune to fire uh it's a dex of 16. wow i got a one and a five on a die so they failed so, so right over there and they fucking both dice take show. ten uh, fire damage. Nice. And then for my bonus action, I'm gonna tell Nova to cast Flaming Seed against uh, Bluffy in here. Okay. So let's see if I hit. Oh, she hits. Ooh. Yes, she does. Nineteen plus five. That's twenty-four. Which one is she aiming at? At Fluffy, in the air. Oh, you want me at Fluffy in the air? At Fluffy, yep. What's the range on your flame and see? That's 60 feet. Okay, is, and is uh, Nova flying? Uh, or yeah. She... she can fly if you need to. Yeah, I can make her fly. I mean, I'm asking, is she flying? Uh, yeah. Let's make her fly, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 24 How hits? Much? 24 does hit. Okay, and then they only take uh, four fire damage. Four fire damage? Mm-hmm. It, it's not very big. Something. As it goes across... <laughs> Impasta. It starts to turn to look at Nova. Is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. Glitch. The Rana is on deck. Um, is that? 
on the wall next to the former fluffy kitten. Is that a torch on the wall? Yes. Oh, wait. Over here? That's lit. Oh, uh, no, back. beside the chair. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. There's, there's a couple tor torches in the back on the wall. Okay. Is that but within now, 10 but... feet of... Fluffy? No. Yeah. It's about 15, 20 Not, feet away okay. from Fluffy. Uh, How high are the ceilings here? Uh, it's about uh, about 20 feet high. About 20 feet high. So, yeah, right now. It, I will. I'm there. So, right now, uh, Nova and Fluffy are pretty close to the top of the ceiling flying yeah okay okay come see and i missed the oh no that's gonna do everything what you doing glitch okay. i'm going to well we changed that's why i asked I will you're on deck we uh... yeah, no, i had a plan and then Kalis asked about heights and stuff so mm -hmm. What are you going to do with that oh, torch? Just I'm super curious now. I was going to make it go really bright and explode. And cause blindness. Awesome. Okay. But, since Kalis is there, it wouldn't affect him. But I will now run over to to the my right-hand side around the steps and go to the two, three characters. Or, yep. Uh, those two, yep. Thirty gets you about right there, right onto that one. Yep, perfect. That's fine. And I'll cast uh, first level thunder wave in front of me. Takes fifteen foot cube. I think we all might go deaf, but <laughs> the stone basement. It's, it won't echo. We're fine. Yep, exactly. That works, which would be a con save of 16 for both of them. And Nova has to save, too, because Nova's in it. There's no way to get Nova not in it? It's a cube. Doesn't matter. It's a 15-foot cube. I damage already, and it's awful, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but couldn't he, like, fine. point the cube lower so that it hits them? It's a 15-foot cone. Cube. Cube. If he wants but to get both of them, nope. Everybody. Yeah. It's a 15 nope. foot cube. Nova's fine. If he wants to get both of them, Nova's going to be trapped in it as well. Now, if he only want to get one of them, then sure. But uh, they rolled. Oh, that's uh, she got bad. 11. So. They rolled terribly. They only got a two and a six. Yeah. Nice. Well, so I three rolled uh, my 2d8. Yeah, my 2d8 damage came up to 3 damage. Nice. Ooh, and you, yeah, with me. you have your determination increase it to 3. Time. You want to use your determination to increase that damage? Yeah. Do you want to use your determination to increase that damage? Sure. Why not? Let's use it. Uh, you would, your uh, your uh, what is it? 3? Proficiency bonus is 3, right? Mm hmm. Uh, yes. All right. For, 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 for. Everyone's yes. history. Yeah. So, okay. yes. so, so it'd be six okay. points okay. of damage. Yeah. And they're pushed back 10 feet. It don't matter. It has six points of damage total. So, or hit points left. So you kill them. How does you kill them? Oh. What does oh. it look like as you kill them? I think the thunder wave, yeah, the force of thunder wave pushed them into the wall. What did uh, Nova get up. for her con save? Uh, she got 11, so she failed, so she takes all six. She's okay. not happy about that. All right. Basically, yeah, their uh, head slammed against the back wall. And... Macked into the ceiling. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, she gets, she gets moved how many feet? Ten feet away from me. All right. 
Verana. That's my turn. Yeah, Verana's right. going to be like. <laughs> she casts Mage Armor on herself as she comes down. I thought I thought we had agreed that she does that ahead of time. Did we? Yeah, we had talked about it that she just does that in the morning. Yeah, who doesn't cast Mage Armor on themselves in the okay. morning? Okay. All right, well, she doesn't have that spell slot then. Yeah. Um, on, am, then... am I controlling her in combat or are you? Oh, you want to do it? Go ahead. Well, I, I had been previously. Okay, but... go ahead. All right, I was just going to have her come out, firebolt the, the fluffy, and then go back up the stairs and up to kind of have some cover. Okay. Um, that is a... a, a beep, 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 beep. What's her spell thing? That is a uh, 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. For 10 fire damage. Lovely. As the yeah. bolt goes through it and goes through the wings. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was just going to kind of have her like poke out. Shoot mm -hmm. the fire bolt and then get some cover behind the stairs again. Alrighty. And that's her turn. Uh fifteen. Yeah. I'm going to need Keyless and Nova to give me wisdom saving throws. Uh, Keyless it... has a D4 added on it for Bless. Okay. As it sells this. Keyless also has the emboldening bond if he wants to use it for uh, Nat 20 for uh, Nova. She got a 22. Okay. I got a 24. All right. You. Uh... As you feel uh, release these spores of uh, breath out, uh, you can feel like your muscles starting to sense up, but you're able to shrug it off and not be frightened. But you will take half damage, which will be uh, five points of uh, psychic damage. Nova and you take five points of psychic damage. As these spores spear across your body and latch onto you. He's not going to be happy with you if you kill me, but this will be fun either way. Who said that? Fluffy. Uh, fluffy. No, I know. I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Honest is going to go, uh... <laughs> All right, he's going to spin. Uh, the one that's grappled is going to spin his action to try to not be grappled. Uh, what was it say? It's a DC 14. Uh, he can use athletics or just like any grapple, it's athletics okay. or uh, or the other one is acrobatics. Uh, right. And uh, except so instead of me, he got, he, got, he got an eight. Okay. Puzzles Dog yeah. Gaming is raiding with a party of two. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome. Welcome in. Can I get a shout out? Somebody already doing it? It's fun. Yeah. Look Thank at the you for the follow, Fuzzle Duck. Welcome in. They're dealing with some cultists right now. Uh, that uh, He got an eight, so the, it does not make your DC, so he's still grappled. We got another raid. Damn, double raid. Brian Flake, who's also ready with a party of two. I'm, I'm thinking they're probably streaming together, maybe. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Thank you for rating. We're a primary D&D yeah. &D stream. We're in the middle of, com middle of combat. They're taking care of some cultists for us. 
Yeah, it came from the same campaign. It kind of figure it was right back the back. But thank you guys for coming in. Welcome in. Uh, we do have a, this is our month of charity for Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Donations of $50 or more, you get uh, your number up to four bracelets and some stickers if you like. You just have to DM your address and all that good stuff. And then we also have giveaways on our next actual uh, charity Hello there. campaign. Hello there. Welcome in. Uh, $50, or not $50, 500 uh, bits down for the sound alert. You can grant re-rolls, subscriptions give advantages, gifting subs, and all that stuff. Uh, actually, somebody type in rewards. This shows everything. I'm not going to repeat i got to get back to this. So that one, he does not succeed. This one's going to run up to you, Kalis. Not you, uh, not Kalis. Uh, Assam is going to to come up and to attack you with a scimitar. Does a 15 hit you? Does not. What? 17, brother. Do I have any rewards? I don't think you do. You might. No, I have advantages. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. but that is after the roll. You can't do yeah, that, I know, sir. I know. I have a bunch more guys on the board, sir. You have two more guys. <laughs> yeah, the other one is going Luckily, to... Luckily, this is like the only time on Earth that I'm not holding a concentration spell. <laughs> He's going to run up to attack you, Kalis. Boo. Yes. I'm going to spend one of my advantages. Gotcha. Did not help. I'm assuming a 11 doesn't hit you. <laughs> God, my dice suck. I think they're great. I think they're better than mine. <laughs> Why does it say I have... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That the, the other one is grappled. I, I was like, I have three of them up, but one is grappled. <laughs> All right, Providence was surprised. You would you like to describe why you're surprised for this fight? Wait, guys, no, no, stay behind me. Caleb, what are you doing? Arwinus, no, it's um. Oh my good god. Oh good god. What the hell are you doing? Glitch. That's quiet. And oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> Top of the yeah. round, Kalis, you're up, and Assam, you're on deck. All right. Well, I know there's a guy right next to me. Where'd the cat go? In the air. It's a dragon now. <laughs> God, fuck it with that. No. Hit the guy. Hit the guy in front of me. That completely swing missed. Huh? Well, he just tried to hit you, and he completely missed. So. Oh, I thought you said my swing missed. I was like, I so he came in and hit you on top of. Yeah, he tried to attack you and completely missed. Yeah, shield. But, so twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five and, hits. And you know what? I'm. Pumping a, a first level Divine Smite into this. You got it. Uh, so that is 19 damage. How would you like 20, to do this? 20 damage. Uh, he comes at me yeah. and I just like block it with my shield. Uh, and then just hammer starts to glow and just right upside the head. And then spitting around. Where? Do you knock off his head and hit it into a hole? What? <laughs> and thus invents the game of golf. Golf. Yeah. Oh my golf. god. <laughs> uh, if I need somebody to tell me where the next person is. All right. I'll, we never established this. If somebody, because we never had this happen. So if anybody wants to tell you where to go, it's going to spend their reaction to do so. I have a quick question. Would a spiritual weapon have been able to be used by Isam's reaction for an opportunity attack when Fluffy left? No, you can't, or, you can't use uh, okay. opportunity no. attacks with those. No, I, say, I, I did not know that. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, One I thing Boulder's Gate 3 got right. <laughs> <laughs> I will use my reaction to tell Kalis that there's one in front of me and that Fluffy's in the air at a 45 degree angle, blah, 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 or whatever. 
Okay. Uh, can, uh, can he even? How how many feet in the air is Fluffy? Uh, he's about fifteen feet in the air. So he's out of my range. Uh, that I will close the distance on the guy on Kayla or on. Uh, oh my God, I did it, Isam. And then I'll attack him. With, with a d4. Yeah. I mean, it, okay, I'll add the d4. Oh, man. <laughs> Two d4s, you have Tw- less and. 27 to hit. Tw- no, 30 to hit. Yeah. That misses. That misses. <laughs> Just because I say so. Just because I say so. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Uh, bad damage. Nine damage. Okay. That's all I got. He comes in. You cling off the side of the his armor. You dent it into the shoulder. Ugh. Is that your turn? I don't think. Yeah. Um. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Artist action. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Assam. Okay, first, uh, Isam's shadow is going to slide back. I'm guessing it's 20 feet to the guy that's on me, right? Or not? Mm-hmm. Can I make it? What are you talking about? The spiritual weapon is Isam's shadow. Uh, can okay. it make it to uh, the guy that's on me or not? It moves 20 feet, right? Yeah. Okay, here, like, he sounds like concentrating the guy whose his tattoos are, like, wrapped around and, like, the tattoo snakes, like, biting him. And then his shadow just kind of, like, creepily, like, slides around the ground and then, like, jabs his shadow rapier into that guy. I'm going to use the emboldening button. Uh, no, I don't need it. Uh, 16 plus 8 for a 24... Is that how math works? Yes. I think so. I even up okay, the, yeah. I even up these guys ACs a little bit and doesn't matter. How much damage? Uh that is gonna be another eight plus five. How's your spiritual damage. weapon cure this one? Uh so like Isam's shadow slides on the ground and then like the shadow kind of rises up behind him, and then this rapier just stabs him and like the shadow like smoky shadow rapier like comes out through this like his chest and then releases and then he just kind of like drops to the ground lifelessly is this the first time we've ever seen your spiritual weapon i've used it before okay his creepy uh, shadow has been okay just was in the guards fight the guards double, fight i think that i would it. say yeah. i would say it kind of looks for you Kalis. what it looks like is kind of like what you saw when you did your sense when you first met oh, okay. Sam? Back. Gotcha. Then. So it kind of resembles that. Gotcha. Is that your turn? Uh, no, uh, that is my bonus action. Then for action, I'm going to cast. Uh, da, 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 da. What is this called? Um, the cantrip thing spell. Sacred flame. Uh, no. Uh, Told the dead. Oh. Uh, that's a wisdom 16 saving throw. Am I within 60 feet of Fluffy? 60 feet? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Then Fluffy needs to make a wisdom saving yeah. throw DC 16. Wisdom saving throw. So he pulls out a little stick and snaps it. And it's like a voodoo doll. Um... That's his version, Toll the Dead. Uh, a wisdom? Uh, yeah, wisdom DC 16. He, he got 16 exactly. Uh, then it does nothing. All right. Is that your and turn that now? Is, uh, I think Isam oh, will one. move... He's gonna he's gonna move to the other side of uh, Providence. I'm like moving my mouse along where I'm trying to go without. So I'm not gonna go within five feet of that guy, but 
I'd be like one block over, uh, closer to the to the never east south western wall. So like one block closer to that guy because I can't get more than fifteen feet away from him. I think. But you're right here. Mm-hmm. Go yeah, ahead. I'm gonna go to like. Okay, imagine on the other side of Providence, but then just one one step closer to that pillar, uh, forward or that wall where that porch is. Nope, nope, nope. Opposite direction. Right where you had me, five feet away from there, closer to uh, the wall where oh, the You want to be right beside Nico? Is. is that what you're trying to say? Yes. <laughs> Just say that. No, up one. <laughs> up one. Up one. Oh my God, so I had you in the right spot. There. Right there. Right there. Why, why can't you say... <laughs> yeah, like, in me... Nico, I'm, you're I'm up. Not... Words. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, what do? Uh, Nico will do more shooting of the grappled guy. Not the dragon. Uh, no, y'all have the y'all have that. We also have the grappled guy. That's what she said attacking. That's who she yeah. said attacking. <laughs> I'm just saying we've already got the grappled guy under control. Well, yeah, that's fine. Now you'll have someone else under control. Um, that's a twenty-four to hit. Yes. Uh, and seven points of damage. How would you like to describe this? Oh, actually, no, no, he's still alive. He's still alive. As nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's like trying to. Yep. Um. However, I am going to move uh towards like if you if you draw a line between from fluffy to nova and then keep going i want to kind of head that direction from nova to fluffy so sorry no from fluffy to nova and then keep going downwards and then meet where i you want to go you want to go east yeah All of it. Thirty, you get right beside Glitch if that's where you want to go. Yes, Glitch, okay. don't do that thing where you roll in that one on an attack and then crit on me. Uh, that was that right. only happened twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Arnish, you're up, and Glitch, you're on deck. I am going to do. Uh, I need a range attack. Fuck. No, fuck it. I am going to use my crossbow. Let's see if I hit on Fluffy. One. And I have a d4. How many hit points does Nova have? 14. Okay, so she's at 19 right now. She has a lot of hit points. Yeah, she gets uh, five times my level plus five, so she gets 30. What the fuck? I know. I'm guessing it's a 14 nice. doesn't hit. Huh? A 14? I don't think that hits, right? 14 misses. All right. So Nova is going to use her Flaming Seed. Well, that's going to hit because it's an 18. I got a 13 on my side. Uh, 13 plus five. It's oh. it's plus my... um. Because it's a custom roll. Yeah. Okay. How Sorry. much? What time? Uh, 19? I'll uh, be fire. So no, be what was the attack total? 18. Oh, 18 hits. Yeah. Uh, so it's a D6 plus three. Ooh, six. Six fire damage. Come on, pop up. Thank you. All right. That you, Your turn? And Nova's uh, turn? I... Can I move Nova back about maybe 10 feet, trying to get out of range back of it? Back where she was before the Yeah, thunder. before the thunder wave knocked her over, and she's just going to hiss that glitch for a little bit and then focus back on Fluffy. <laughs> All right. Glitch her up as Fluffy comes back to hiss at you. Nova! Uh, glitch, con- continue towards the wall, uh, 15 feet. Perfect. And then she's going to throw. I was going to take the hammer out of my inventory to throw at him. Is that a full action just to pull the hammer out? 
one. Does it have the throne cast property? Catapult on it. Oh, you're gonna cast I'm going to throw it with my hand and use catapult. Yeah. Oh. That's all one action allowed. If you usually you get a free up, object uh, interaction. Throw. Yeah, it's a free object interaction. So I was just trying to determine okay. what you're going to. I'll just throw. Yeah, catapult at it. Uh, it's a deck 16 save. Ooh. 16 exactly. Uh, <laughs> hammer just goes right past it and hits the wall. <laughs> Son of a... <sighs> And that's it. <laughs> Not... <laughs> All right. Verana, what's Verana doing? Verana's going to do the same thing as last time. She's going to poke into view, firebolt at the wormling, and then get back to some uh, cover. Okay. So that's a 16 to hit. Yes. Yeah? Okay. For us. Uh, ooh. An eight and a nine, 17 points of fire damage. How's Verana want to do this? Uh, she's going to just poke out and and just, she sees it dodge uh, Lich's hammer and takes that moment to just. Well, he got his breath back too. <laughs> to just uh, find it a nice opening and she, she gets it right, right in the mouth, down its throat to its tum tum. Okay. As you shoot through it, you see Fluffy's form, the dragon form, vanish. Well, cool. and she's gonna step back to the stairs to get her cover again. Okay. Uh... Can can he some call out not to kill this guy so we can question him? <laughs> He's going to try the break your grapple. Before the murder hobos get him. Have you had your turn yet? <laughs> uh, mine's at the mm -hmm. top of the round. With okay, so you can use your reaction to do so, I guess. Uh, there's a... This is he only needs a 14. Up. Yeah, he had a 20 to get out of it. She so will no break out. Grapple. Does he have to do that at the end of his turn or just spends an action to do so? I think it takes his action to do it. Yeah, uh, so I don't know. After oh, let me read it, right? the, the let me read the thing real quick. That 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 coiling grasp pet two. Uh as an action, a creature can escape the grapple. Uh the grapple also ends blah 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 blah. Uh I so I think he probably still has his movement. It doesn't say anything. Nope about it being at the end of his turn. I think it just takes He breaks from your tent, uh, your tub, uh, your, whatever you're, you're using and dashes towards the stair, or it's towards the chair. Towards the chair? Yeah. Not towards the stairs. No, to the chair. Uh, okay. That is his turn. Uh, Providence. Yeah, she's finally gonna, you know, enact up her righteous fury. Um, so, what is an eight? Don't give out! Don't kill him! Is an eight the bad one? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, it's not the bad one. Uh, so it looks like she's, like, building up that energy inside of her body. And then instead of, like, throwing it or doing anything, it just, like, bursts out of her chest. Mm -hmm. Um, can I get a con save, please? What's the range of it? Uh, he's close enough. I mean, like, anything's 30 feet, but... 30 feet. Uh, hold on a second. Let me check what it actually is. Pretty sure it's 300 feet. I mean, and also, like, I'd just also move forward if I had to. Oh, yeah. He's just within 30 feet. I, I think it's actually more than that. But, I mean, also, like, she can just move up as well. Uh, what is the, what is the save? Uh, con. Uh, con 19. 
Uh, that is a save. So it doesn't have any effect, uh, but she's going to come up and attack. Which one was that one? The light one or something? It's, yeah, the one that burst out of her chest. It's weird. It's like an attack, but it's a, it's a, it's a save on it. Um, so she's rolling. That is a natural 20. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Went from a nat 1 to a nat 20. That, that feels pretty good. Um, let's roll all that damage. So what's That's, your right uh, to- yeah, it, yeah, it has two hit points. How would you like to do this? No, come on. I missed it. Roll your turn. damage. Roll your damage. It's Roll 19. She did. She got 19. 19, <laughs> 19 damage. Plus an additional, I think, what is it, three? Because of the, because I'm, uh, because I have right just here. So yeah. 20, 22 damage. So how would you like to do this? And you know. I was hoping to do non-lethal, but I rolled the 20, so I'm just going to take it. <laughs> she is going to. So yeah, so when I say how you want to do this is when you tell me if you want it non-lethal or not. But if you're going to just kill him, you can kill him. It's your call. Uh, she completely ignores him some. And she just, yeah, she's just frustrated. And she just Bad takes her uh, great sword. She uses the blunt side of it. <laughs> and she just swings at him and he just goes flying to the other side of the room. She also invents golf. Yep. Actually, could you, Jugen, could we do like a, because I actually did want to actually do non-lethal. Could we just do high or low? And then if it's high, uh, let him be non-lethal. I think it's funny. <laughs> yeah. The barbarian wanted to be the meat shield. Then was like, no, wait, guys, stop. I'm the I'm the meat shield. And I was like, you know what? Screw a high, it. A high or low? I, always high. Uh, you cut this fucker in half and his body goes flying against the wall. Okay. We stopped the call. That, that wasn't well, our, knocking We don't know. Out. We only see Floppy. There's no <laughs> Safoon. I'd, I'd like to question someone who's not already dead for once. <laughs> and you do have to speak we're dead, so. If it's prepared. Is it prepared? It's not prepared for today. Not today. Today is remove curse and revivify in case one of you guys died. Guys, yeah. why isn't it initiative ending? Yeah, I mean, initiative is <sighs> over. Everybody's dead. Yeah. I don't think we're done because we don't know well, where Spoon is. Well, obviously, we're not done. Yeah. We don't know well, where yeah. Spoon is. Um, if anyone got, like, actually hurt during that, let me know. I I mean, I got hit, but I'm fine. Uh, how, how hit did you get? Five. I also have lay on hands. I'm yes. fine. Don't nice. waste spell slots. Don't waste resources on me. I'm fine. Um, I'm going to ignore that and walk up and cast Cure Wounds on you. Why would you do that? Because I can. Don't they have to be a willing creature? I don't think so. Uh, creature t- touch. It's not a touch spell. You want to do an unarmed <laughs> strike to see if you can do it? Well, I'm, I'm not going to actually touch, touch so. until my hand is on him. <laughs> oh, no, it's a touch spell. So um, basically it would okay. be like... I think it would be a save against it, actually. <laughs> it's Well, I mean, if she's already using the resource, use the resource. Yeah. Jugen didn't let me waste a spell slot earlier. I want to waste one now. <laughs> Fine. Um, so Providence is going to pick up one of the corpses and just kind of like shake it and see if anything like if he has anything out. on it. Yeah, kind of. It's like... How much? Nine. Okay, well, I'm back to full. Oh. Providence, I think it's dead. <laughs> no, I just wanted to check if it has anything on it. Like, any, like stuff. Uh, for clues. Uh, if you're shaking it, what comes loose is a scimitar. Um, by the way, all of them have a scimitar. Uh, uh, well, that's not the right dice. You all find. Uh, uh, six gold, three silver, 
and sits copper frars like gold throughout all the bodies. Mm -hmm. Guys, we can almost pay off that window. <laughs> I already paid off the window. <laughs> uh, um, Providence, or, or, what are you I, doing? Last thing, last, uh, we'll go out of combat initiative again. And then we can figure out what y'all doing and then we can call it. Uh, Glitch, what are you doing? Uh, check the bodies near me. Make sure they're dead and look for info. On... Uh, I gave y'all already what they have, so. Huh. Yeah, but that's what I've been doing. You, you, get, you can have their clothes if you want to dress up like their clothes. You have that. The ones that are not destroyed. Uh, Alice, did you need more clothes? Okay, so I I'll strip them down. Not bad guy reason. clothes. <laughs> true, true, true. Providence so, takes at least one scimitar just for funds. So, Glish, the ones you kill with your thunder wave, their outfits are unscathed, nothing. The one that was grappled, actually, no. Uh, it was, had a bunch of piercing arrow holes and then got cut in half by Providence's blade. Um... Sorry, guys. I just the one Kalis bashed his head in is all bloody and stuff now. It's like a gooey mess. And yeah, so you basically get two completely undamaged sets of clothing. If you like, uh, Kalis, what are we'll you just doing? Just take them. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the chair and just see what I can sense. Because that guy was running check. to that guy was running to something. Uh, would it be disadvantage because you're blind? I would assume so. Yeah. Thirteen. It's not. I, I kind of picture this as you're like you're obviously using your hands. Look around behind a chair. You feel a a, a latch. I'm, I'm not pulling it. Okay. But you feel a latch. You don't see okay. it, but you feel it. Yeah. And well, I would be like, hey, found something. All right. Uh, Tom. Do we need a, we don't need a comment initiative. Y'all right here. Go ahead. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I, I assume mean, I was do something just, just, different. He'll just try uh, That's all. All right. Nico. Uh, I would like to try to get my three arrows back. Or at least a couple of them if I can. I shot oh, three this right. fight. Alright. Uh, roll me investigation check. Investigation. Uh, 15 total. Here we get your three arrows back. Thank you. I need to do the same with my crossbow. I fired one and it missed. Your crossbow hit the wall and it shattered. All right, uh, and then I'm gonna head to Kalis. And what'd you find? Providence. Great. What are you doing? Uh, Arwenus, I I can fix that. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You sure. Yeah, it's okay. It's one out of twenty, so it's not too bad. Okay. All right. Uh, she's gonna to take uh, one of the just some rags off of the off of the guys and just start cleaning her blade. So, um, was the cat Zafoon? No, I'm guessing that was Fluffy. Fluffy. It's a master, so I don't think we've met Zafoon yet, but I have a funny feeling when we open this thing, we're going to find him eventually. Well, let's open it up. It doesn't surprise me that he's a cat person. Hmm. I like cats. Does that mean I'm evil? Sometimes. Possibly. <laughs> So are y'all pulling Can the level? Can you sense? Huh? Can y'all pull the level? Let's do this next. Are we going to do that next? next? We'll do that next, next session. session. Yeah. I know. I was I was going to call it when y'all pulled the lever. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah. Pull it. Yeah, pull it. Yeah. Are, are you going to uh, sense? I, I just needed to know if y'all are leaving or are you going to pull the lever now? Oh, no. We're not going to leave this place. No, we're okay. going to We will continue. No. Yeah. As you pull the lever. As you pull the lever. The the top the piece of where the top little round circle that the chair is sitting on opens up 
and the chair moves away from it and there's a whole nother staircase that leads further down Wrong and that's where we pick up next time awesome Sweet. all right thank you guys uh for tuning in uh we have our charity event going on like i said fifty dollars and you get uh four bracelets and a sticker if you like but if you're outside the us you get two stickers from our merch shop uh join our discord we had some cool awesome uh stuff going on from weasel and our net stream will probably be shortly after this because i gotta stay up all night because i work nights be playing Baldur's gate 3 because i re redo my honor run uh, but the next time we have our D D campaigns will be Wednesday at 6 p.m. for our charity stream second episode, Sh uh, Shadows of the Soul Flots, and I'll turn it over to Glitch while I find and you guys to talk while I find somebody to rate. Hi, I'm Glitch, and I don't stream. <laughs> you do. I had a really busy weekend, and I'm really tired. <laughs> You stream every other Sunday <laughs> at 5 p.m. Oh, Eastern. Right. I don't have an extra stream <laughs> <laughs> like you. <t> <laughs> All right. Technically, uh, I do. I just never do it. Providence. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, watch me with Jugan on, on on Wednesday when we co-host the charity stream. Please make sure you think about donating. It's really wonderful. Plus, the players get all these cool, fun things that we plan for them. Um, yeah, I also stream, theoretically, in principle. It will happen eventually. <laughs> That's it. All right, JR? Hey, uh, I am JR the Nerd on Twitch. I stream usually on Tuesdays. Right now, October is just kind of crazy. I have to get to another city and find a place with electricity because there's blackouts here. So this Tuesday, I'm hoping to. Last two Tuesdays, I'm actually going to be in Columbia, so I'm going to not be able to stream. Uh, but we definitely will in November. Uh, so check us out just in case on Tuesday. And then the Tuesday after that, for sure. Uh, I also stream on completely random times to play Skyrim, mostly because if I played it by myself, I probably would not sleep and I would just play Skyrim all day and I would, it's, it's a serious addiction. Um, but please come check out sometime and uh, yeah, that's that's my spiel thing. Thank you. Uh, Rotender. Hi, I'm Rotender. I am here. <laughs> Weasel Hey uh, I am Weasel or the One True Spezzle I do monthly competitions in our Discord They're fun, you should join in There are prizes And Silver Wolf uh, I normally stream but I'm on hiatus until my health gets better uh, but I'm also in the charity stream on Wednesday Please join us for that um, Besides that Have a great night all right, we're going right into live and let's uh, live and let's die. Uh, they raided us last week, I believe. So we're going to raid back into them, return to raid, and uh, you guys have a wonderful night. Uh, Bye. Here is your raid emotes. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. Drink responsibly. Good night. <laughs> Shadows we emerge, church, protecting the realm with a search. Our mission, our duty, our pledge to keep the balance to save the Your sword!